What's up? By the way. Team supervisor. We don't give a rat's ass about sport, though. Or even the students. So, you see, I heard this rumor. Hey.
Hey. Sorry for the technical difficulties there. Looks like my mic just kind of loosened. Um, why... Why is Ryuji not a romance option? All right. I will never understand. Man, that was some funny shit. So much for training though, huh? Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go! We can grab some ramen on the way home. Yo, you good right now? All that mess with the track team. Guess I was right about my gut feeling. And Nakaoka can get weirdly stubborn sometimes. He'll keep his mouth shut whether or not someone's punching him. So he should have punched back. Whoa, hey, that's not what I'm saying. No violence, period. I thought you're supposed to be the pacifist here. Look, I'm just saying, there's got to be another way to solve this instead of just going dark. And that bastard Yamauchi's Yamauchi's name came up again. I swear, something about that dude is so shady. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna do a full investigation. I'll hit you up if I find anything. Later. Ah, you're back. I assume you are all curious, so I'm sending you an update just in case. Madarame is still bedridden. He hasn't spoken a single word. My apologies for not being able to provide anything more solid. Come on, it's not your fault. Don't worry about it. Is it June already, though? It is June already, though. The exhibition will be ending soon. At least it doesn't seem like Matarame's had a mental shutdown. There's no point if he don't have a change of heart and call off that legal action bullshit. Was it how it was when you defeated Kamashita? Pretty much. Yeah, Kamashita was out of school for a while. Either way, this there has been no palpable progress. It appears only the target themselves can tell whether or not their heart has changed. It's a goddamn pain in the ass, but yeah. We just gotta hear from Matarame himself what the deal is. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do. Let's just try waiting a little longer. Have a report as your strategic man image management representative. I just thought of a new way to help you out. I really wanted to tell you about it. Do you have time today? Thank you. Okay, let's meet up in Shibuya. I'll give you the details in person. Now that you mention it. Oh, I forgot to mention. But we're meeting up with some fangirls today. 
All thieves are supposed to have some special ladies, right? Uh, what? I've never heard that before. Really? Wait, really? Phantom thieves are supposed to steal girls' hearts. Everyone knows that. Actually, basically, I met some cool girls on the fan site. We thought I'd be fun. We thought we it'd be fun to do an in-person meetup. Oh, that reminds me. They think we're just part of the fandom. I made up this whole story about how we stumbled onto the fan site one day. So let's stick to that. Don't spill the beans, okay? I'm worried about this. It'll be fine. I can be pretty tight-lipped when I want to be. Um, either way, you should be excited about this. Mingling with your loyal supporters is a noble cause indeed. Plus, remember how I said I'd help publicize the Phantom Thieves? This is just the beginning. I don't I hate, I hate this. <sighs> Though, to be honest, I'm, I've never actually met someone from online in person. I wonder if I'll be able to do it right. I did lots of research, though. I know all about footing the bill and uh, buying desserts for the girl. Apparently, if things go well, you might take your home. Hmm? Huh? It's way past our meeting time. Um, hello, it's me. It's the guy you met on the fan site about our meetup. Huh? You're still at home? And what about your friend? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. No, we'll be waiting here. Wait, was that a train announcement? I could hear... I could swear I just heard someone say Shibuya over a loudspeaker. Are you close by? Huh? Oh, no, I'm not calling you a liar. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. Maybe next time. So, both of them apparently got sick? They're just gonna head home. Stay home. <laughs> it seemed like they were really into the idea on the forum. <laughs> uh, oh well. <laughs> My bad. I was so busy with all the new forum posts, I did didn't have time to really vet them too much. Don't overwork yourself. No, no. Don't worry, I'm not. This was just a learning experience. Alright. But well, all this aside, I have some really good info ready for you guys. I won't let you down. I'll prove just how useful I can be to the Phantom Thieves. supposed to turn out like this though. I bet those girls would never have flaked on me if they knew I had been friends with the real live phantom thieves. <sighs> Being a guardian of justice isn't so easy, huh? Let's go home. Trying to use your quote fame to 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 get with a girl? Bro. And dragging me into it? Bro. Oh, Crane Boy? Sorry for dragging you out for no reason. People typically use an alias online, so I, a lot of them don't hold back when they comment. Hmm. I thought it was going to be a great opportunity to hear their opinions on the Phantom Thieves. It's always better to hear that kind of stuff in person, right? You'll, you'll get it right next time. Yep. Leave it to me. Next time, we're gonna get some real hot gr I mean... Intel. Alright. I'll get back to modding. Trust me, everything's going to turn out awesome. See ya. Ugh. Ugh. Admin has to be trolling. Yeah, you right. I want to ask you something. Yeah, what's up? Why did Mr. Kamashita change all of a sudden? 
he grew a conscience. Is that your hypothesis? It's still too sudden. I believe it's only natural to think that something must have caused it. Well, that's fine. Thanks for your valuable opinion. I'll take it into account. This one's super special. It's not even anywhere on the forum yet. Anyway, do you remember that bully, Tazuke Takanashi, whose heart you changed earlier? Well, it turns out there was someone pulling the strings the whole time. It seems like Takanashi didn't have a choice but to listen to what this guy told him to do. But ordering someone to bully other people is a pretty crappy thing to do, isn't it? That's horrible. Right? It's totally unacceptable. This person has to be somewhere in our school, right? You should go take a look around. In the meantime, I'll secretly do a little research. Hmm. Okay. Cool. I just have to go to the gates. show this to your teachers, huh, Takanashi-kun? Another word out of you and I'll debut your film to the whole world. The Yoshimori Sakota Tapes. Will be a huge hit. Come on, you made me do it, damn it! Hmm? Well... are so annoying. I've been really busy lately with all the new patients, but what the heck? Oh, everything's set already. Hmm. I wonder if she's still outside. Thank you, dear. This is my favorite handkerchief. Uh-huh. It was right in front of me, so... Oh my, you're a shy one, aren't you? Uh. I'm not shy. My neighbor speaks highly of you. She says your medicines are better than those at the big hospitals. It's very reassuring to have such a distinguished doctor right here in town. I'll see you again soon. What the heck? You seem annoyed. Yeah, thanks to you. <sighs> There's a lot of talk going around town about me. Started by that girl and her dad. Apparently, they've been telling everyone that I can make all these amazing medicines and remedies. So now, the number of patients I'm seeing has increased dramatically. I don't know what some of these people are thinking, though. I've had a lot of crazy requests. Like yesterday, a patient requested a sweet-smelling compress. But, and the other day, I had a quest for a cold buster. <laughs> a drug like that deserves a Nobel Prize. Other requests have included hair and skin tonics. I even had to do a consultation about a cat. <laughs> Jeez. Not like I'm some kind of genius doctor. You are a genius. Stop 
that. No. This is all interfering with my development. I'm only interested in completing my new drug. That's my role as the plague. I'm not suited for all this other stuff. It suits you. What? what? Really? Well, you're entitled to your opinion. But a town doctor? Hmm? That sort of lifestyle profession might have been possible for me at one time, but now... Oh yeah, about those clinical trials. With so many new patients, it's taking longer to ana analyze the data, so I'll need to catch up. This is a bit of on the stronger side, but I'm sure you'll be okay. like that girl is going to make a full recovery. The treatment seems to be a good match for her, so at least I can b breathe a little easier for now. Hopefully she'll be able to attend school soon. What? What are you so happy about? Are you excited for your next clinical trial? Well then, let's have some fun. How's my <laughs> doing after the ketchup drug? I know it was probably a lot to handle considering I doubled the dosage and have the activation time. But we're so close. We're right at the end of all of this. I can feel it. I'll need you to stick out around just a little bit longer. I hope you can handle it. Count on me. Well, aren't you a little go-getter? If you're that excited about him, maybe I'll just give you a dose of everything and see how you hold up. Well, I've got some catching up to do. I have to process today's data as quickly as possible. Make sure to call if you ever get sick, okay? Take care. Ah, you're back. Probation officers. Nice going! Alright, now we go to the big bang. I think there's another one that I can do right now. I'm just going to save just in case. I'll just add this. Yo, I've been looking into Yamauchi, into Yamauchi lately. Thought I'd give you an update. Apparently, he's been hanging out on Mojaki, Mojaki, 
Monia Yaki Shop a lot. Heard he gets a little drunk there and brags to his co-workers. So perfect opportunity, right? If we can get close, we might get some intel out of him. But good luck. I'm not doing this alone, you know. I'm gonna need your help, dude. He knows me, so I ain't gonna be able to get anywhere on your own. But you wouldn't care about you. I bet you could even sit next to his booth if you wanted. Probably. So I'll let you know once I figure out when he's going drinking. Till then, we're gonna put a hold on our training. Well, I'll be counting on yep. you. I've been getting a lot of students coming in ever since I still arrived here. To be honest, it's been kind of a relief. That whole mess with Kamoshida was the reason I was called here after all. They warned me a lot of students had been impacted. I knew there would be a lot of free-floating anxiety. But when I actually got to talk to everyone, I was pleasantly surprised. Most of the things on everyone's minds were college entrance exams, relationship problems. In other words, typical worries for high school students. Some did open up about deeper issues, but not the majority. Some students were still struggling with the scars from the incident, yes. But at the very least, I'm glad the ones who came to me have taken some steps toward recovery. So they have, huh? Well, that's not to say I've gotten a sense of every single student's emotional state. Either way, I hope my worries end up being groundless after all. I know I'm not the most reliable ga re 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 guy, but remember, you can always talk to me. You can always talk to me too if something's bothering you. I am the counselor here, you know. If nothing else, I'm good at listening. Let's Having said that, it's a little awkward that I have to ask for your help, but... You remember how I asked you to help me with your my research? Well, of course. Said you'd be helping with my research, but don't worry. It won't be anything too difficult or intensive. I just need you to listen to what I have to say and work through some questions with me. So... Let's see. Maybe I should start at the beginning. I can tell you a little about what this research is for. What I'm studying now is pain felt in the mind, or perhaps more fancifully, in the heart. Some specific examples include the pain of someone saying hurtful things to you or being separated from those you love. Maybe this would be clearer pain defined by would be clearer pain defined by abstracts like trauma or stress. Bodily, physical pain can be thought of as something necessary. An autonomic response to injury, illness, whatever. Still. But what about pains felt within one's heart? That pain isn't born from any tangible problem in our bodies, right? It's something strange and immaterial. I guess it goes to show there are still a lot of mysteries in our own hearts and minds. You know, I... And I, well, I, I want to learn more about these internal psychological pains. Now, this is my question to you. When do you truly feel pain in your heart, Grime Boy Kun?
when someone betrays me. I see. Yes, I can sympathize there. Sometimes all it takes is one betrayal for intense trust to turn into intense pain. It can be rough. It doesn't feel good to struggle with pain in your heart. For example... But with that in mind, how about the pain of a broken heart, then? After all, that kind of pain is only born because we fall in love, right? Do you have any thoughts on this kind of pain, Prime Boyka? It's a seed for new loves. <laughs> I never took you for a poet. But it's a wonderful sentiment. A very, a very positive way of looking at it. Internal emotional pain can be difficult to deal with, though some say it's always coupled with other feelings. And I agree, of course. I think that's a fair assessment. Though, personally speaking, I'd think of pain. if pain can be avoided, it should be. Maybe it shouldn't exist at all. Hmm. Wounds of the heart are much harder to detect, and in a way, they're far more complex than physical injuries. That's why I'm doing this research. To save people who are suffering from internal pain they keep holding on to. You helped me realize that purpose again. Thank you. Did, did that help? Right. Of course! Thank you! Thanks to you, I, am, I can articulate my thoughts for once. Yo, that's crazy. Flow is All right. Crazy. Okay, I think that'll do for today. Oh? Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? <gasps> oh, your mental training! Oh, no, I didn't forget about our promise, of course. I'll teach you tricks for mental discipline, and you help me with my research, just like we decided, right? <laughs> now then, how about something like this today? Well, see you. Ah, oh, this is my okay. Uh, do you have time to talk right now? I'm taking a breather. Just finished my last counseling session for the day, and I thought I'd thank you once again for your help earlier. Good to work over there. Thanks. A lot of students came by to talk today. Hopefully they got something out of it. But to be honest, it's pretty tough juggling this job and my research at the same time. Thanks again for agreeing to help me out. I might be looking for you t for help more frequently from now on. It'd mean a lot if you could lend a hand. Alright, see you later. Ah, uh, you're back. Hey, go for, hey. Hey, for an unparalleled artist that is a master. Curiosity Dutch nope. Rough drawing sketch. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Fiddle through different words when I don't need to. Alright, alright, well. Oh. Hello. Hi! Hey! What? You're really going to request me? I'll be heading over right now then. I'd appreciate it if you cleaned up a little first. That'll make my job easier for sure. Um, I love cleaning shabby. I mean, 
sophisticated rooms like this. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. If it's for you, Master, I'll happily be covered in dust. But then, doesn't it pain your heart to see such a cute maid all dirty? It does. <laughs> Aw, Master. Even though your room is messy, your heart is so clean. I'll go ahead and get this over with then. This'll do, right? Keeping it a little messy for that shabby chic feel, you know? And now, cleaning is complete. Ugh. Ugh, I'm exhausted. I'm not allowed to work overtime during weekdays, so I rush to my part-time job after class ends. On my off days, I have to prepare pop quizzes and homework assignments. Today, I had to clean bathtubs and walk dogs before coming here. There's no time to rest. Oh, speaking of pets, this room smells like a cat. I feed a lot of strays around my house. I was surprised that you requested me. I didn't think you actually would. You weren't expecting to do anything weird with me, were you? <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. As long as you understand. I know I'm in a maid outfit, but I'm still your teacher. You don't get any funny... don't So don't get any funny ideas. Besides, I try not to get too involved with my students, so... I need it. Sorry. Just give me five minutes. Maybe ten. And before you know it, time's up. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, do you know of any part-time jobs that pay well? I assume you make a lot since you can afford a maid service. Well, let me know if you do. What's it for? Well, um... You know... It's for my little sister. She's sick, so I need money to pay her medical expenses. Hello? Yes, I made the transfer. What? Not enough, but it was the same amount as last week. I... N no. Yes, I, I understand. Okay, goodbye. Uh... Oh, r wrong number. Hey, sorry to ask you this out of the blue, but, um... Do you happen to have 100,000 yen I could borrow? Wait, but ne never mind. Owing one of my students' money would be the worst. Hey, you may have some money, but be mindful of how you spend it. You shouldn't be wasting it on services like this. I requested you. I need the money, so I do appreciate you requesting me. However, uh, you're my student, so if we were to get involved further, things would get complicated. I did warn you. The rest is your responsibility. You're a high schooler, after all. All right. <sighs> Three more to go. Well, I'll see you later, Master. Okay. <laughs> Me too, man. Okay. I guess. Oh, is this Master? Thank you for using our service today. I really want to do a lot more cleaning with you. Is that okay, Master? Uh, what the hell? What? What's wrong? Little old Becky's just working hard so she gets to see her master again. Ugh, sorry, part of the job. Okay, this is driving me insane, so I'm just going to drop the sales talk. Crap, my manager's coming. Um, well, I hope you'll request me again sometime. Bye-bye. I am way... 
I am more okay with her storyline than the, the the hot doctor because uh, at least she knows not to try anything <laughs> and she knows uh, that she doesn't want to try anything so yeah and I I really like her I, I do really like her storyline the, the the juxtaposition between you know customer voice and oh my god voice is so, so great uh, da, 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 da. this is the hero this is it it's raining so I think this is a great time to go back to that little diner Get knowledge, a huge amount of knowledge and guts. Oh. Sorry about that. I'm sure it'll be fine. So far, nobody's come charging us with anything yet. But wouldn't he wait to press charges until after the exhibition? What should we do if someone contacts us about it tomorrow? Try asking Yusuke. He's still staying with Madarame, right? Oh, that's right. Where is Yusuke? I wonder if he'll be okay with Madarame. Sorry I'm late to contact you all. It seems something will certainly be happening tomorrow. Madarame is on the phone as we speak. What do you mean, something? I believe he is preparing for a media announcement. I didn't hear anything about pressing charges. Guess we just gotta wait then. Let us meet in Shibuya tomorrow. Okay, see you then. The exhibition is finally ending tomorrow. I'm sure things will work out fine this time, too. Oh! Hi! Now we're offering special services like maids cooking and together with a maid. 5,000 yen? Hey. Oh my god, that's a steal, bro! What? What? Seriously? I mean, th thank you for requesting me. And please wait for me, Master. I hope you have a big appetite. Master! Well, did you enjoy the maid's cooking and together with the maid services I provided today? The high-end cup noodles really do have a, make a difference, don't they? Yeah, they do. <laughs> I thought you'd agree, Master. They are pretty complicated, though. It says to drain the hot water once and leave the sauce packet on the lid so it gets warm. Don't request me if you're going to complain. Besides, I thought I warned you already. Why would you request me again? Uh. So I could slack off in class. Hmm, are you sure that's really the reason? Well, I guess I'm in no position to complain, since I'm making money from it. <sighs> I'm so tired. We had a faculty meeting just the other day. Why do they have to last so long? Jeez. Thanks to the Phantom Thieves. The students have been really restless lately. The teachers can't agree on what to do about them or the Phantom Thieves. I wish they would talk more about her bonus instead. I heard they might even cut the teacher's salaries. Ugh, I'm so sick of it. I'll request you more often. 
Really? I'll continue to serve you with all my might, Master. Oh, I'm, s I'm going to be in trouble if I don't pick up more shifts. Hello? What? What? How much? I can't... Yes, but... That... That's true. Sure. Yes, yes, I, I understand. Yes, it's it's my responsibility after all. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little behind uh my sister's medical bills. Don't overdo it. Uh, apparently it's some crazy incurable disease so there's a lot of fees and extra charges that's why it would really help if you requested me more oh never mind you're my student i can't keep relying on you Ugh, what am i going to do anyway it's time for me to go hey feel free to call me to do housework it doesn't have to be through the maid service I live close by, so I can stop over whenever you need me. Besides, I'm worried that you can't cook or do laundry because you don't have your parents. Oh, and if your friends suddenly come over, I can always leave out the back way. Quest Kawakami to brew coffee or do laundry for you. All right. Okay. Uh, this isn't how it was supposed to go. In any case, I need to talk to my boss about giving me more shifts. I need to be requested more. Good night. Oh, is this Master? Thank you for using our service today. Wasn't my deal so delicious? Could you taste all the love I put into it? But you can't just eat cup noodles, right? You need balanced nutri nutrients. Maybe next time you can try some of my homemade cooking instead. Seriously though, you're still young, so you really need to eat properly. Thanks. You can thank me once you start making actual improvements. I mean, you're so very welcome. Um, I know this is kind of silly, but you really do need to eat healthy, okay? I mean, considering how much you spend on requesting me, you can probably afford some good food. Well, I hope you'll request me again sometime. Bye, bye. What's up with that old geezer? Oh, <laughs> is he crying? I. I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I uh, plagiarized work. I I tainted this this country's art world and, and even Sayuri. How could I I possibly apologize to to everyone for for what I've done? Help. <laughs> He's crying way too much. <laughs> that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... 
That old man's done for. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. <laughs> Why did he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom Thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Phantom thieves, huh? Phantom thieves again. <gasps> I know that said pleasant boy, but I saw that as peasant boy. Did you guys see the news about Madarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the phantom thieves. Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. Ooh, this will be fun. Let's keep pushing on then. As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Something like this happening twice is massive, too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. We may want to quiet down a little. Do you know them? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Ah, yes! How can we help you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. What are you all doing here? Are you friends? We're delinquents. Mm hmm? What did you say? Uh, <laughs> that was a joke! <laughs> he didn't get much sleep last night. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. It's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? It'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers, but he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw on such a place anymore. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine arts scholarship. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. Wait, what? You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. Are you moron? Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. Alright, guess it's just more prep till then. Yusuke Kitagawa. Keep bumping into the mic. 
So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? It's the truth. <clears throat> Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. Go right ahead. So you won't sell out your accomplice? <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Now your next target was this man, Junya Kaneshiro. He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Matarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed... <sighs> oh! Looks like Yusuke's texting me. I think we're gonna get him too. You have my gratitude. Why are you so polite for all of a sudden? Truly I'm thankful for you, to you for making me come to my senses. You're exaggerating. I most certainly am not. I must, cert I must express my gratitude earnestly. You're one of us now, man. We'll be counting on you, okay? Of course. And if anything comes up, we, don't he we won't hesitate to lend a hand. Thank you. Hold well, on. See ya. <laughs> you didn't have to go through all that trouble just to thank us. He's just an, he's such an honest guy. Anyways, that went well for our first job, huh? It was a huge success. So that said, you got time after this? For what? You know. Well, thing is, I got some free tickets to a darts lounge from this guy I know. I totally forgot that they expire today, so you want to go right now? <sighs> Ryuji, didn't we just finish talking about how we need to be on guard? Come on, it's just darts! Don't you want to play too, Morgana? I mean, if you can actually throw anything? Mm. If you're just going to play, then I guess it shouldn't be a problem. Alright, then let's head to the darts lounge or whatever it is. Lead the way, Ryuji. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm on it. All 
Right. The place is in Kichio. 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 Sure. So we gotta take the train first. Oh, what? For real? There's a bunch of different shops right outside the station. Let's there. go. It's just one stop away from Shibuya. So let's head for the Inigami line first. <sighs> It'd be great. Oh, there's just. Hey! Okay. Alright, let's go! This is Kichiyoji, huh? You can tell it's nothing like Shibuya, just from the atmosphere alone. Well, yeah, looks like there are a lot of shops here that you can't find in Shibuya. Not that I'd really know. Seems interesting. Right? Oh, it's got your attention now, huh? Ansa's not here because she's busy, but I bet it'd be fun to come here with some more people. I think the darts lounge is one block up from Main Street. All right. But since we're here, I won't say no to checking out a bunch of other shops on the way. Alright, so, first thing we gotta do. Oh, hmm. hello. First thing we gotta do. Hi there. Hey, any questions? I have then. to ask every single uh, question. Yes. Well then. What? Well then. Actually, come again. Oh. And I get a point in knowledge. Because why not? Alright. Um. I'm just gonna go hey. into second hand clothes. Hmm. Nice. Hmm. Hmm. Welcome. I'm going to sell. Real? Whoa! Here, this is the place. Oh man, I'm getting kind of nervous. Hmm. Such a child. Try not to embarrass the rest of us, would you? You don't gotta tell me that. So what's the plan? You wanna head inside? the targets called the bullseye if you land a dart there it's called the bull I know because I looked up the rules online last night anyway this game's called zero one you win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player oh so you're not trying to get a high score but get rid of your score that's pretty different we both start with the same score then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands and you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? So you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. 
This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> One point. Come on. You have to straighten your arm out more and... Hey, Ryuji, what's up? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you, though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Yeah, sounds like fun. Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Let's do this! Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening! Here it goes! Don't underestimate an ex-athlete! Hell yeah! Triple 20! Whoa! He hit such a tiny spot! Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. We're almost down to zero points. Let's really focus for this last round. Zero points right on the dot! Oh, ain't we badass? That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. Man, this is so fun. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane. But it makes you want to do your best for your partner. on your faces I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game even if it is just a game it can be some kind of training depending on how you play someone dedicated <laughs> well I do always have the phantom thieves on the brain let's keep practicing together here oh oh let's invite everybody next time man all this just from me asking you to meet me here this is like oh, you know one of those strikes of good luck. A stroke of good luck. Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? Ooh, what's that? Oh, yeah, they have pool here, too. Hmm. This game could be useful, too, depending on how we look at it. Yeah, it's already pretty late, though. We can come back and play it later. Ah, and don't forget. We got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. But it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again sometime. Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. Hey. Picked up some interesting info you might want to hear. Apparently there's this old man who's been causing troubles in Kichiyachi. If you make one wrong move or say the wrong thing, he flies into a rage and turns into a fight. Even if you don't hit him, he lies and says you did and then sues for damages. So he's like a con artist, or like a conflict artist. And the cops? Well, they tried to give him a warning, but when he pretends to be senile, he gets away with everything. Can't just let him go out and check, right? Only problem is, knowing that he's an old troublemaker, he's... Knowing that he's an old troublemaker isn't enough to get us a name. But I did hear that he hangs out in Kichiyoji's Harmony Alley a lot. First of all, it is Sunday. Hi. Now let's go to Kichiyanji.
wonder I'm drinking in peace. I don't like bad mouthing my customers, but you make so much trouble. Hey! Hey, this ain't no place for a youngin' like you. You looking for something around here? Oh boy, even kids like you know about him. That old man's out of control. He takes drinks from strangers. He starts fights when he gets in trouble. He causes a ruckus and tries to mooch money off people. What's creepy is the more trouble he makes, the wider his smile gets. Uh, name? Oh yeah, this the old man's always shouting his name over and over. He yay, he yay ono, right? Yeah, that's the name. Okay. Cool. Okay, let's go. Cool. Alright. Now, um, it is Sunday, so we can go back here. Say hello to. Uh, I forgot his name, but. Sun Guy. Everyone. Yoshida. Yeah. Good evening. Right away then. Everyone. Passing on the societal sins we have created on the next generation is not right. It will take time to solve this problem. However, we must start by making small changes. You. I hope you gleaned something useful from today's speech. Regardless of the audience's size, you must convey your thoughts as if you're talking one-on-one. -on -one. By the way, I forgot to ask you last time we spoke. Why do you want to become a politician? I want to improve my speech. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a pragma pragmatist? Yeah, I sure am. Most people nowadays are. But that mentality of taking action is the quality of a good is the quality of a good politician. May I ask you one more question? What kind of politician do you want to be? One with conviction. Yes, don't ever forget that. Although, what's important is what lies within. You're right. Allow me to give you some advice. If you aspire to get into politics, you must possess a central philosophy. What is it that you want to accomplish? That is the foundation of a great speech. You'd do well to remember that. That was helpful. I'm glad. By the way, my philosophy is Very well. never give up until your voice is heard. Get your message across. Be tenacious in conveying your thoughts to the audience. Have a firm point of view and communicate it clearly. That's the first rule of negotiating. <laughs> you have me reliving the fighting spirit I had when I first became a politician. Occasionally ask for more money or items during negotiation. All right. Diplomacy. Woo. Get the hell out of here, no good Torah. <clears throat> no good Torah. They're right. I am no good. Ah, uh, my apologies. We're done for today. I shall ask you again another time. Hey, I wanted to thank you for today. I'm sorry you had to see me acting like such a coward. Right after I gave you that self-important lecture, too. But I'm quite a stubborn individual myself. I hope today's incident was at least a good example of what not to do, but... But what do you think? Did you take anything useful from it? Changed my whole outlook. What? Really? <laughs> I wasn't expecting to have such an impact, but I'm glad if I helped somehow. I hope our talks from now on will keep giving you the direction you need. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.
The response in Matarame's press conference was huge. Everyone's talking about the con card. Girls are checking me out today. Maybe they can't help but sense my overflowing phantom thief charisma. Oh shit, am I finally starting to be popular with all the fly Oh no. What's wrong? For real? What's wrong? My uniform, man. That's what. We're supposed to switch to summer uniforms today. Today. I knew people were looking at me. Oh, god damn it. I gotta go home and change. So you go on ahead. How are things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? I have nothing to report yet. Nothing at all? How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. <sighs> you knew, didn't you? About Mr. Kamashita sexually harassing students. Sir! What will come of you asking that? This investigation is for a just cause, correct? I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. I'm sure it was truly shocking for you as student council president to see a peer attempt suicide. Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. That is the most pressing issue we have to tackle at the moment. So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Matarami fellow, I assume? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Komashida's case. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yes. That is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand, not unnecessary questions. <sighs> Did you see Matarame's press conference? You mean that guy who was all like, How could I possibly apologize for what I've done? Oh. Think it was really those phantom thieves? You know, the whole stealing your heart thing? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. Yeah! How's it going? Have you found our next big target? I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that quick. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? Huh? Oh crap, the social studies trip. Oh, I just wanna ditch it. You'd better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? Wouldn't me suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more? Quit bickering and go. Then let's all choose the TV station. I heard we're gonna get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there'll be actresses there. Oh well, not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. All right, I'm gonna head back. TV, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. That guy is such an idiot. I hope nothing happens. Feels pretty great having everyone talk about us, huh? Matarame is the only topic of conversation at my school. And as a and as I'm his pupil, most of my peers have chosen to ignore me. For real? That's bullshit. Are you going to be okay? There is no need to worry. They had already been treating me differently from others as it stood. This is nothing new to me. Okay then. More importantly, do we have any leads on our next mission? Are you kidding? There's no way we'd find a target that quick. We need to wait and see. Understood. Oh. 
You can always go to a Mementos instead. I will find. I will keep myself free. Please tell me if anything comes up. Hey, are you listening? Yo, let's go. Let's go. All right. Ah, senpai. What a pleasant surprise. It's really pouring down, isn't it? I thought something like this would happen. So I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag. What a considerate kitty. Of course. This isn't something any ordinary cat would do. And just in case you've forgotten again, I'm a human, not a cat. Whatever. Whatever, cat. Well, see you around. Did you get wet, though? Actually, I forgot my umbrella. But it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. If anything, it'll make for good training. Care to walk together? Uh-huh. But how are... Oh, are you offering to share your umbrella? That'd be wonderful. Thank you so much. Thanks again for letting me join you. To be honest, prelims are coming up soon, so I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Is it for gymnastics? Yeah, that's right. Two huge competitions are coming up. One at the beginning of summer, and one near the end. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative. And there's a qualifier meet to determine who that rep will be. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. I'll cheer you on. I'd be invincible if I had you cheering me on, senpai. <laughs> oh, we're already at the station. I'll be fine from here out. I can't thank you enough for today. I swear, I'll return the favor some... Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school and a boyfriend to escort her around? Miss Special Snowflake sure is living on Easy Street. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you're right. The same thing happens in class, too. People are often wary of me because I'm an honor student. The school's expecting me to attain strong results in the upcoming competitions, too. They even told me I didn't have to participate in the cleanup event. But I just don't like getting special treatment. Oh, excuse me. My father's calling. Hello, Dad? What was that? Uh, sorry, my phone's been acting up lately. It's okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since it's raining. A bit overprotective, don't you think? You must care a lot about you. Yes, I definitely agree. Well, I have to get to practice, so it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for today. Excuse me. Seems pretty rough. Aoyama Ichome. This is Aoyama Ichome. Never mind that. Having wet fur is the worst. Try to keep me under the umbrella, would you? Train doors are now closing. Please. Hey, I found some good great intel. This time, it's bullying on the Kosai student. By a Kosai student, they call a queen. She's been ordering around a male student who goes by the name M. Kind of like the M in S and M. Does M stand for Mishima? That's a secret. Anyway, here are the details. 
The girl acting like a queen is Hikari Shimizu. 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 I wonder if it's more likely that a girl will turn out like that if she has an S as an initial. Well, I already posted the warning, so you should take the, take it on when you have the time. Hopefully, you don't end up on you don't end up an M. Hey, hey! Rude. What did he mean by S and M? Those are shirt sizes, right? Is it the size of clothes? Anyway, it seems like she's a worthy target. Let's find out in school. The others have to find out. Cool. Anyway. We're gonna go to... Mall. And buy some imported protein. in the courtyard. I've been stuck in the nurse's office for the longest time and I want to change pace. <sighs> well, crime boy, Gun, I just found out how scary cats can be, despite their cuteness. What's this coming from? So... Oh, it, it happened on my way to school this morning. I spotted a kitten that had gotten itself stuck up in a tree. I tried rescuing it since I felt bad for it, but I ended up with the clawing of a lifetime for the effort. I had no idea a cat's claws were that so sharp. I know, right? Speaking from experience, eh? It really does hurt a lot. But I was able to rescue the kitten, so it was all still worthwhile. All I really have to do is make sure to put antibiotics on the scratches anyway. Well, let's move on and talk about a different kind of pain. We discussed this for a bit last time we talked, actually. The pain felt within one's heart. There are all sorts of ways to identify and diagnose physical injuries and illnesses, but when it comes to pains of the heart, you're, we're working in unknown territory. There's so much we haven't learned yet. Treating trauma sure is difficult when it's invisible. If only we could somehow directly reduce emotional pain in a healthy way. Like putting antibiotics in antibiotics on a scratch. Is that what you're researching? Oh, how astute of you. As a matter of fact, you're not too far off the mark. Unfortunate as it might be, we all know there's no topical medicine that can properly heal a heartache. Not only that, psychological issues are even more complex. Here, allow me to demonstrate. <gasps> oh, cryboy coon! Well, woe is me! My heart is in such pain, it's like I'm being pierced through the chest. Oh my. I have such a torturous burning deep inside me. Uh, you okay? Sorry, sorry, that was a poor attempt at acting. Please don't look at me like that. But, uh, basically what I'm getting at is our own emotional pain is the only kind we can fully comprehend. That seems obvious, right? But it's absolutely vital to understand. A person's heart, their pain, 
cannot be seen, even if they spent their whole lives expressing it to others. There is no way for them to truly grasp it. It's not like we can directly look at their hearts and remove the root causes of their pain. Remove the root causes of their pain. But for me to do any good in that area, I need to conduct further research into the heart. More specifically, I need to learn how the heart reacts to the world around it. That's the first stepping stone to a breakthrough in the field. Once that's been figured out, we'll not only comprehend psychological pain, but that were, that were once unknowable, but we'll even be able to perform more effective treatment for those people with wounded hearts. That's a grand plan. It's nothing so grandiose. But hey, if we can get rid of people's pain, that'd be for the best, right? I'm no fan of pain myself. Well, uh... On the other hand, people have laughed off my idea as just a silly, pointless dream, and I can't say I blame them. But still, you say the time to listen to what I have... You'd say... you. But still, you take the time to listen to what I have to say, and you actually try to understand. Thanks to you, I can tell I'm actually getting somewhere with my theories. How can I phrase it? I guess I could say you're making this hazy, hard-to-grasp idea finally appear before me. You know, you could very well become a counselor yourself someday. Say, would you like to try being my assistant? Of course, I'm on a shoestring budget, so I wouldn't be able to pay you. Yeah. Sounds fun. Oh, oh sounds surprisingly great. eager. Maybe you really will become a skilled counselor in the future. Joking aside, I truly am grateful for your assistance. Thank you, Crime Bite Coin. Let's put a pin in that for today, shall we? I hope you'll lend an ear again when you've got the time to spare. Now, I know you've been waiting for this, so let's get to the mental trading. All right. Oh, and here. Never a bad time for a snack, right? Be careful, okay? Prime by Kun, do you have a moment? Today got really, today got pretty one-sided. I just ended up rambling again. <laughs> this keeps happening. I should have asked this sooner, but is this leaving you with any mental fatigue? Is your schoolwork being affected? Yeah, I feel completely fine. Really? Oh, thank goodness. I was worried not every guy wants a middle-aged weirdo rambling to them about a bunch of philosophical abstracts. I know it's asking a lot, but it'd be great if we could keep the... Uh, what? Er, the station? Sorry, I, I think this tourist needs help. I'd better go. Hold on, er, Shinyuku Station? Uh, and you? Oh, you've got no money, huh? You haven't heard anything from the student council president, have you? Miss Honor student must be busy kissing ass somewhere. You can't have to- you don't have to be so harsh. What is this about a student council president? The one at our school has kind of been keeping tabs on us. I think she's suspicious of us. Are you sure it is not merely a result of Ryuji's general misconduct? Shut up! Though, to be honest, the three of you must certainly stand out. Do try to be careful. I cannot be there to look over you at school, you know. That duty rests on your broad shoulders, Reginald. Right, got it. I'll make sure to keep an eye on Ryuji, too. What do you got to sing, Mio? The others kind of overshadow you sometimes, but don't forget, you're famous, too. Just make sure you're careful, okay? 
Inmate. We need to talk now. Get over here right now. Caroline, this is not a su sufficient explanation. Listen well. Inmate, come to the entrance of the velvet room before we change our minds. That's the door only you can see in your world. You better not go to the wrong place. Then. We will be waiting for you. We expect great haste and enthusiasm from you. Just going to check hmm. on. Hey, who are you talking to? That's not, they sounded really noisy. If you're being summoned somewhere, you should probably get going. I can feel it. I'm just going to check on my plant real quick. Somewhere. Cool. Hey, hey! Oh! Yes! There. So you've come, inmate. Huh. You're late. Next time, we expect you in front of us within two seconds of our call. We've got some new duties lined up for you. Let's call them special assignments. To the point, there are a number of places in our reality society that may foster your rehabilitation. You will prove the value of these places to us in person. Listen up, inmate. We will select various locations that we suspect would could be vital to your re rehabilitation. Should you recognize a place that we mention, then you are to escort us there. You wanna go explore? <sighs> are those ears of yours just for decoration? These are special assignments for the sake of your rehabilitation. Work just as hard at them as you do the rest of your duties. We will s we'll wait you in front of the door like this whenever a special assignment is available. Mm. Should you meet our expectations, we'll scrape together some sort of reward for you, so no slacking off. We ought to mention, these special assignments will not be available indefinitely. To phrase it for your comprehension, you will have until the end of the year to complete them. You are also required to continue working through towards your rehabilitation to earn these assignments. We're really going out of your our way for you here. Don't tell us we never did anything special for you. That concludes our explanation. In that case, we will now introduce the first special assignment. Are you prepared? Very well. Then listen closely. The first location we have chosen is one that has grown quite popular lately. It's... It's... Ooh. It's purported to offer foods that simulate the feeling of being in space. The food is apparently massive enough to rival the size of the universe itself and resembles a mysterious spacecraft. If this food exemplifies both the unknown and the vast nothingness of space, is sure to stimulate the heart. Does the subscription bring any locations to mind? Well, if you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. What'll you do? So what'll it be? You mean Big Bang Burger? Oh. Big Bang Burger. The name is fitting, I suppose. Guide me, inmate. We shall confirm our intel for ourselves. Lead the way. Well, it indeed shaped like a mysterious sh craft, but it's much smaller than I had expected. Is this the meal they boasted to be as immense as the cosmos? I'm quite disappointed. Hey, inmate! You don't really expect some kind of reward out of this, do you? It's the big bang challenge, bro! How dare you disrespect it! So humanity intends to generate its own universe now, does it? You've got guts. 
We've had enough of your smart remarks. Know your place, inmate. Oh, so they had... They can get that large? <laughs> the Big Bang Challenge. What an intriguing concept. For the sake of your rehabilitation, you are to take this challenge. Of course, you will take the largest they offer. Any objections, inmates? Oh. I got this. Hmm. If anything, I'll respect your confidence. You better not disappoint us. <clears throat> Thank you for waiting. What? Whoa! Now that is some daunting mass. Well then. Well then, it's time to get the 30 minute big 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 the Begin! <laughs> The last burger was downright insignificant by comparison. It's bigger than the inmate's entire stomach. Perhaps the m moniker implies that any diner's stomach will suffer its own big bang? Oh. Would you care to try it? This is your rehabilitation, not ours. We are here only to observe you, and don't forget it! I predict this challenge shall be a fairly difficult one. Be that, it is, be that as it may, you must finish the food tower in its entirety. Failing to join the clean plate club is a grave offense. Okay. Do you think it's a good idea to add even more crimes to your record? Get to the rehabilitating, inmate! Not a bad start. But you've only just begun. I'm already full. Help. You're stopping. Who said you could stop? No bricks. Work that job. My stomach is going to burst. Hmm. Don't his eyes look rather dead to you? Perhaps he is glimpsing the fast emptiness of outer space. Uh, hey! Is he really alright? He's not about to keel over, is he? I don't think I can finish. I think he's about to pass out. I suppose. It appears this truly was too much for him to handle. Very well. Let us pitch in. Hey. You're a hopeless inmate. You better be grateful that we we're bailing you out of this. We did it. I have to say, you really held your own there. You almost didn't make it through, but we'll call this a success since your stomach didn't burst. <sighs> I must say though, I'm rather dissatisfied that this place's usage of the moniker Big Bang Burger. They certainly craft a meal of impressive size, but when compared to what the Big Bang generated, it's not grand in the least. Do humans have some sort of compulsion for exaggerating the sizes of things? Good question. In fact, this challenge raises quite a few of them. You took the challenge for the sake of your rehabilitation, but who in their right mind would willingly consume so much food? Maybe I don't understand humanity at all. Say, inmate. Who, why are humans always testing and pushing their limits? Just because they're humans. How preposterous. The simple inmate speaks as if he's an expert on humanity. Hey Justine, maybe we should take the challenge ourselves. I just had the same, very same thought. If we were to trust our, thrust ourselves into this ordeal, perhaps we would discover some answers. Hey, person! Uh, how can I help you? We're taking the Big Bang Challenge. Well, uh, there's a minimum age requirement to be eligible for the uh, challenge. Oh, can I interest you in our Lil Bang meal instead? It even comes with a toy! Don't you want a cute little spaceship? A spaceship? 
That's a burger, fries, and a juice for 500 yen. It'll be right up. Wait. We didn't ask for... It's too late now. Let's just settle for that today. I admit, I'm intrigued by the diminutive spaceship. Well, we didn't experience any of the wonders of space, but at least the taste was passable. You seemed much more excited by the toy than the taste anyway. Sh shut up! I saw you eating around those pickle things or whatever they are, Justine. That, that wasn't food from this earth. It was clearly a alien spawn of some sort. <laughs> what? Is this true? You're a delicacy. I see. Well, they didn't taste bad. But seriously, what are they? I ate all of mine, you know. Calm down, Caroline. We're getting off track. <clears throat> well, at any rate, we've determined that hamburgers are incapable of conveying the majesty of space. While the toy spaceship helped to soften the blow, there's no denying the truth. Now we will formally acknowledge the completion of your task. Here is your reward. You better work just as hard next time. We know about all sorts of locations that would aid your rehabilitation. I'm still taken aback by the truth. Your world is absolutely full of these shop places. For a reasonable fee, nearly every desire can be fulfilled, all as if it were nothing. That does sound interesting. I believe it may merit further research. Anyways, good work, inmate. Your final task for the day is to escort us back to the Velvet Room. Let's move! Ah, that was fun. I'm hot. What's this? A request to the student body. It says they're looking for information. I heard Principal Kobayakawa put it up. Please consult the student council president if you have any details. So we can go to her for anything? Why the student council president, though? What does she have to do with Principal Kobayakawa? I mean, Nijima-san is his favorite. Maybe that's why he asked her to do it. Between the Red King Crab and the Hermit Crab is the number. This is it. Her name did spread a bit thanks to Madarama, but I bet people still wouldn't care if we came out and said we're the Phantoms. Yeah, you're right. I must agree. But what would come of telling people our identities? Maybe they'd at least start treating us with some respect. Well, I can't understand why you feel that way. That's just how things are now, but if we keep doing stuff like this, that will definitely change. We simply need to devote ourselves to the cause. Our praise will come later. What he said. I'm sure some people out there will understand. Uh, I guess we just gotta act like a modest hero for now. President, what is the meaning of that posting? Kobayakawa put that up without my... We've already received some anonymous information. I heard some students are getting threatened. I'm so scared. Please do something. What? They have dirt on me and they're demanding money? I can't go to the police. What should I do? 
Isn't this talking about the crimes that have been rumored to be occurring in Shibuya? So there are even victims at our school. What should we do? This isn't the responsibility of the student council. This is frightening for us too. Principal Kobayakawa called you in yesterday, right? Did he tell you anything about this? Well, no. He's out today, but I will ask him tomorrow. Please wait on this for the time being. If you say so. My apologies for the confusion. Don't worry. I'll do something about all of this. Hey! I have some new info. Apparently, there's a group of burglars terrorizing Shibuya. From what I hear, they only target restaurants and break in after they close for the day. Someone online was asking if it was the work of the Phantom Thieves. Just reading that got me really pissed off. We can't let people lump you guys in those petty thieves, right? No way. Yeah, you guys are way better than those jerks. Anyway, I heard they're, they've been running away without leaving even a trace of evidence. That's all the information I have on them right now. Sorry. For now, I'll make a post on the fan site and ask for any more details people might know. Mm. I'm actually going to work at the convenience store. Now's our chance! Bonus pay. Bonus pay and bonus charm. Barcode on the back. Company logo. Those are the ink crunches. Crunches. Right side of the cover. as soon as Shibuya Senpai goes on break. You should focus on finding that barcode and quickly getting through the crowd. There's the barcode, right of the cover. Nice going! You did great. Good work today. to inform the public.
dog command. Egg. Bark. Bird. Cursed to wander the land or something? Guide me, inmate. We shall confirm our intel for ourselves. Lead the way. Not bad for an inmate. That was rather enjoyable, inmate. We won't underestimate the human imagination again. You may claim to have enjoyed yourself, but your screams told quite a different story to anyone who could hear. It's, so, it's no wonder how everyone mistakes us for elementary school students. Shut up! It was only because of that thing jumping out of my face. And you were just as scared, Justine. It certainly was startling. The eyes and nose seemed to stretch out right at me. And it all began the moment I donned those black glasses. What exactly were those that we wore? Person. 3D glasses. Oh, so there are some sort of trick to the glasses? But your own glasses are just normal ones, right? Your own attention wasn't wandering while we were caught up in the movie, was it? Why is it that humans even create such large and elaborate fabrications in the first place, though? Isn't the imagining of these things satisfying enough? Even dreaming seems like a superior pastime. Why do humans go so far as to spend their money just to witness fictional events? Fictional events. I think to to I think they always are um, good answers. I think it's most we do escape reality. So they wish to avert their eyes from the world they live in? What an unsettling answer. Escape, you say? That sounds rather human as well. Don't tell me. You wouldn't happen to be plotting an escape of your own, would you, inmate? No matter how much you might rail against it, you shall remain our inmate. Even the very thought of such a foolish endeavor is pointless for you. Or could that line of thinking be yet another avenue of escaping reality. Huh. What a pathetic fantasy. I'll bet you were thinking of blasting away the cell door, weren't you? Don't even consider such crassness, Caroline. If we were to attempt such a blatant uh, jailbreak, either our master or ourselves would notice immediately. Oh, and how would you do it, Justine? I would use a spoon to dig a hole through the wall and conceal it with a poster of some distracting image. Blowing down open the cell door seems more impactful. They used the plan in one of the movie previews, correct? They wielded a bazooka and went about blowing everything up. Any recaptured escape bee is executed on the spot. Freedom or death are the only options for an inmate on the lam. 
suspense and excitement are necessary elements of any surprise escape. Did you learn anything from the movie, Caroline? Or were you simply enjoying yourself? What? Shut up! The inmate will sell this for us. Hey, tell us how you'd try to escape. Would you blast the door or use the spoon? I'm not going anywhere. That is not the answer we were looking for at the moment. It doesn't matter. Either you can't escape us, no matter how... I, it doesn't matter either. You can't escape us, no matter how sound you think your plan is. There's no harm in allowing yourself to fantasize a bit every now and then. Indeed, today we learn more about the power of human imagination. No wonder such vile palaces plague humanity. Don't you're, fall behind. You're hereby free to fantasize, but keep it in check, inmate. Your job is to focus on your rehabilitation. That being said, here is your reward. Now, let us return. I believe that will be all for today. It is time to return. trying to get info on the students. Why do you think he's doing that? It's probably because of Mr. Kamashita, right? Considering what happened with Suzuki-san. Huh? I heard Principal Kobayakawa knew about the sexual harassment too and just turned a blind eye to it. I bet he wants to snuff out any rumors now. Even the volleyball team was told to keep quiet. That's the worst. So that's what he's using Nijima's senpai for? <sighs> oh yeah. Rumor has it she knew as well. Isn't that horrible? Chick's all noble about it, too. Nijima Senpai knew? <laughs> what is the meaning of this, Principal Kobayakawa? Why did you post that notice? It was all for your sake. I thought the more information you had, the easier your investigation would become. And? Did any information arise about the case I asked you to look into? Nothing yet. I will pass the details along if anything comes up. Right now, there is a more pressing issue. It appears there are students at Shujin who are being threatened by a criminal organization. Uh. A student who saw your posting came to us looking for help. I'd like to request a countermeasure. Isn't this some sort of mistake? I can't believe this would happen to the students of our academy. Now is no time for such problems. There is still lingering concern regarding the Phantom Thieves. But we received a request for help. I'm rather busy at the moment. If you wish to do something, you will need to act on your own. Sir, are you sure about this? I'm still investigating your case as well. Yes, that's correct. It works out perfectly. My intentions have borne fruit. This criminal organization must be the connecting factor. If you pursue this criminal issue, you'll surely find clues about the Phantom Thieves. But that's absurd. So, let's say this rumor is true. Do you intend to ignore those students in trouble? I... Your sister would have solved this easily if she were in your position. My expectations of you are very high. I hope you don't disappoint. I hate this egghead so much. <sighs> so what kind of person would be a better target than Monorame? Hmm, I wonder. I guess it'd have to be someone who's the talk of the town. That's quite a vague pr prerequisite. 
Don't we have a more specific idea? Uh, a crooked politician? Ah, yes. That is an interesting line of thought. Either way, we'll need a lead before we can begin anything. We'll just have to look for what for that as we go. Only there was a big target just lying around for us. time today? I was thinking I need to make good on our deal. No time like the present, right? We can start hammering those basics into you anytime. Go. Thank you. Then how about we meet in Onokashira Park? In Onokashira Park. Oh, sorry, I never do know when this phone is actually working. Anyways, in Onokashira Park then. I'll see you there. Senpai. Sen Crime Boy Senpai. Ooh, that's a little weird. You're pretty flexible. And you can catch up. So you can catch on so fast. At this rate, you'll have the fundamentals down in a heartbeat. My body is aching just from the mimic because of being poses. It's all about the harmony between the internal and external oblique muscles. I can't get enough of it. We're just getting started. <laughs> I knew it. Well, feisty, are we? I'm glad to hear it. Expert level gymnastics are beautiful, but they demand a lot of stretching. All right, let's continue. Stretch with Kasumi. Good effort. I think that's enough stretching for now. Good effort, senpai. And um, I'd like to continue with our training, but. I'm actually not doing so great at the moment, so I'm not sure I could manage anything too strenuous. Next time, then. Thank you for understanding. I was thinking... Do you remember how I said I wanted to talk to you about something? I've been feeling like I'm stuck in this slump. No matter how much I practice, I just can't get any better. I went to my coach about it, but... She told me to take some time off from gymnastics. According to her, I need to think about who I really am. The idea is not to stop doing gymnastics, just she wants me to take a break. I see. I've never had an issue that practice couldn't solve, but now I have no idea what to do. So um, I want you to help me, Crime Boy Senpai. You know. Even if we're not doing gymnastics, will you still keep going out with me? Ugh. You sure? Yes. Yes, I know you can help me. I've heard my coach praising me. She says Kasumi's greatest weapon has always been her boldness. And honestly, that used to be true. I was totally fearless, confident. Gymnastics was a fun challenge. But ever since I started high school, I've been in a slump. I got taller, for one, and there were so other complications. I can't move how I want anymore. Like, it's not even my own body. I kind of fell into a depression. Got really bad. But But when you helped me in Shibuya, something occurred to me. When I saw how fearless you were, how confident you are, I know I knew you were the right one for the job. If I stick with you, Senpai, I think I can learn how to be confident again. Let's give it a try. Yes. Great, thank you. You're a strange one, senpai. I didn't think you'd accept. Well, I'll try and 
return the favor through our deal. Allows you to avoid being surrounded by enemies in the palace. All right. Okay. Oh, excuse me. I should get going. I have a meeting with my coach. I'll be heading home now. I need to get going for today, but I'll make sure you don't forget this. Thank you very much for joining me today, Crime Boy Senpai. Are you feeling sore after all that? You place stress on muscles that you don't use very often. Please remember to massage them out before you sleep. But I'm so glad you, attempted my, you accepted my request. I was so relieved. I suddenly got really hungry. And then my stomach wouldn't stop growling in my meeting. Impressive. Thank you very much. Though I don't know what that's really worth any praise. An excessive diet tends to make most people sick, but it seems to have an opposite effect on me. But since you're helping me out, I'll do whatever it takes to maintain my shape. Hope you can help me next time, Senpai. I'll be reaching out again sometime soon. Well then, I'll talk to you soon. You know how we're going to that TV station tomorrow? Yeah. Thinking we might find our next target there. Oh, that's right. We're always hearing gossip about the dark sides of celebrities. You're absolutely right. With that much money, they've probably got their fingers in all sort of didn't, sorts of dirty business. Hmm. That phrasing has quite the immoral ring to it. Dude, you always react to the weirdest stuff. Anyway, you get to observe a live recording of a show, right? Maybe we're gonna be on TV. We'll just be in the crowd, remember? Any TV appearance would be for like two seconds. Hmm. Try not to pull any fanciful stunts to garner attention, okay? I'll just add this. Thieves have finally made their big part-time debut. Info has started pouring into the fan site too. I'm gonna be a busy bee. We'll be going to an expensive buffet over in Chibuya. All right, let's go. Don't worry about the price though. Come on, follow me. <laughs> Today's my treat. Phantom Thieves are all about fancy stuff like this, right? That's why we're here. Oh, and it's just the two of us. So don't be afraid to go all out. What do you want to eat? Uh, no. Yeah, honestly, I always start with... I love desserts, but things sound good. Doesn't it? Meat's perfect for tough guys like us. By the way, this place is all you can eat, so let's make sure we get our money's worth. Actually... Anyway, I posted on the fan site that I had connections to you guys. The Phantom... The fandom really ate that up. <laughs> Don't worry, though. I didn't say anything that would point to my real identity. I did end up talking about how expensive it is to run our little organization. The donations I got after that were pretty... Generous to say the least. But I guess our loving sponsors just wanted to show some support. 
<laughs> Not bad for a strategic management, huh? And that sounds like a scam. Hmm? What do you mean? Everyone was glad to donate if it meant supporting the Phantom Thieves. Speaking of which, the bill for our meal here is a fine place to start taking advantage of that support. Wait a minute. I've seen all the news that using donations for stuff other than what's publicized is a serious crime. Yes, it is. That's why I said that was a, this is a scam. You fucking idiot. Food is definitely an acceptable business expense, but can the same be said of an expensive buffet? Oh. The more I think about this whole thing, the less I think we should use the donations here. I mean, people would get mad at a politician for using tax money for personal affairs. And some probably, and same probably applies to the Phantom Thieves. I guess returning the money would be the best choice. You're right. That's right. Yeah. We really need to make sure we need to keep the image of the Phantom Thieves clean in our fans' minds. I think I'll return the money and thank the fandom for their generosity. They'll love that. It might be a waste of some nice resources, but it's all good as long as it boosts our popularity, right? Man, maybe I was born to do this strategy stuff. I'm honestly getting pretty good at it. Well, you're not. <laughs> well, in terms of making us more popular, yes. Morally, no. Don't worry. I'm still gathering info on the forum, too. I actually have a few solid leads right now. Everything so far has been close to home, but these next ones are gonna blow your socks off. Oh, so if we're returning the money, how are we gonna cover our meal? I'm flat broke. <sighs> Guess I'll just head home. Crime boy? Sorry for dragging you out for no reason again. As strategic image management rep for the Phantom Thieves, I wanted to splurge a little to boost morale, but I guess it ended up being pretty good for our PR, PR in the end, right? That's one way to view it. It's all about thinking strategically. It was kind of rough avoiding the blazed glares on the way out, but we gotta stay positive. There's still so much I have to do for you guys. I'll work even harder. I want to be a real asset to the Phantom Thieves. Bye. He's trying so hard. <sighs> He's trying so hard. And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding. And... Huh. He ain't even listening. For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Can this get any more obvious? So sleepy. Wow, he's not even listening to what I said. So, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. Hey, how much longer does this go? I swear, I'm not gonna fast. 
What's going on? I can't stand all this noise. Hey, asshole. My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Hey there. You wanna be on TV? Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. Uh, yeah. Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Well then, uh... Let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who can keep the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Damn it. This sucks. Ah, oh, what a pain in the ass! This is totally killing my vibe. Pop Valley Lee gets the long cables. I'm so pissed off! Aren't we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? This is bullshit! I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Quiet down, will you? I get how you feel, though. It sucked for the both of us. Well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? No flaking out, Ryuji. I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? Well, being Phantom Thieves ain't easy. And that reminds me. We get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place! I wanna go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here! It looked delicious! What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. I'd like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really? You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but you'd totally puke if you did that. But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? Yeah, what do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. <laughs> Where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Akechi? Filming? What, you a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. <laughs> huh? Cake? W what are you talking about? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. You don't get it. Eh, 
That's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow anyways. Come on, let's get a dome town. All right. Hey, can we skip the vomit machines and get cake instead? I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, for real, my stomach's churning. This is why I spoke against it. Dude, it's not fair. Using your cathood as an excuse. Only at times like this. Anyway, are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? Let's go home. We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. play. Hmm. What do you want to do? Thank you. Should do it for now. God, got the orb up. Right. Have you played somewhere before? You do seem to know some unexpected stuff. Oh, what's a Q stick? What did you say? Oh, come on. Isn't that thing you got in your hands? It's that thing you got in your hands. Where was that about having the aura of a pro? Yeah. I'm getting pumped now. All right, let's get started. Now then. Will you go boldly or with caution? The decision here is important. That was fun, huh? Even if you don't win, it's fun just to sink the ball balls into the pockets. Glad to see everyone had fun. I gotta say, though. Wow. Thanks to playing billiards, it looks like you've learned to. Present yourself a bit more attractively, huh? Okay. Well, I guess I'll take that extra That was so much more. fun! Alright, cool. Hey there. Sorry to interrupt your fun. Billiards has a lot of intricacies, doesn't it? Glad you've taken a liking to the game. If you'd like to learn more about it, there's a book I'd recommend reading. It's called Expert Billiards. It covers everything from the basics to practical applications. The only problem is, it's quite a rare book. You might have some difficulty finding it. You may have a better chance of getting it at a specialty shop that sells sports supplies, as opposed to an ordinary bookstore. Oops, I didn't mean to hold you up right as you were leaving. Please, do come again. I see. Mr. Akechi's coming on. Ah, it's Akechi. Oh, oh, he's so cool. Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, detective? Oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. 
There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, akechi -kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <clears throat> but, hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these Phantom Thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. First, please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Of course they do! About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. All right, let's try asking this student here. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? All right, so knowing, so I will say, uh, the, the older that I get and the, the older that I get, um, I agree more and more with Akechi, but I gotta play with the character that I'm presented, so, um, uh, they do more than the cops. Well, actually, all of these are playing up with the character, so. They do more than the cops. It's true. <laughs> This completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, akechi -kun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? See, every single time that I uh, come to this question, um, I think that it's a trick. I think that they're all target criminals. I see. But how can you be so sure? Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kinda seemed like what he was saying might be right. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it that stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? 
He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Oh, it's you. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. While they simply do as the adults say. There are too many irresponsible people in these modern times. I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. That's why I believe if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. Oh, you really are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. If it's all right with you, would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? I'd love to. Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> Kidding, of course. I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Explain yourself. I did with... All right. Ah, yes. We should exchange contact info. registered. Well, I hope to see you again sometime soon. The detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. On the other hand, there's an awful lot we could learn from him. If he contacts you, try hanging out with him. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. Just breathe in the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. Mm. Not a catchy bastard thinking about what he said is just pissing me off again. He clearly tried to discredit everything we're doing. I mean, just had to say it on live TV, too. Don't be so sour. There are, without a doubt, people who we have saved. Those people could not have been saved if not for the heroics of the Phantom Thieves. I am living proof of that. Ah, what a nice thing to say! Still, was that a catchy kun still said act? Was what Akechi Kun said actually wrong? I feel like he has a point. Why you gotta bring that up now? I mean, is it really okay to be doing this to people just because they're criminals? Doesn't it seem a little selfish? We are phantom thieves, ah. Uh, I doubt everyone would forgive us for what we did to Madarame. Yet, I still decided that it was a necessary act. Kamashita too. We weren't gonna do shit. We weren't gonna do shit to him through any kind of normal methods. That's true, but what do you think, Reginald? Are we being selfish? 
we're helping people. I guess I can't really think of any other way. Hmm. I believe our best path forward is sticking to our justice, not that of the law. Shouldn't that be enough? And with the unanimous decision rule in place, I doubt we'll lose our way. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for bringing that up. Don't worry, it's, I'm not thinking ab about quitting the Phantom Thieves or anything. Just you watch, Akechi. Someday we're gonna, we're totally gonna see who was right. Okay, let's stop talking about this for now. That Detective Akechi seems to have a lot of influence on the media. It'd be dangerous to get too close to him, but he may actually prove useful in some situations. Hey, you better not have forgotten about that persona they left there. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll go grab my own. God, I'm furious. You heard about Akechi said it. You heard what Akechi said, right, crime boy? How dare he declare the Phantom Thieves as, are criminals? As the administrator of the Phantom Aficionado website, I can't stay quiet about this. I'm going to start to show Akechi how people online really feel. I'll change up the survey question tomorrow morning. Justice is with the Phantom Thieves. Keep on doing what you do best. Why is he, of all people, getting angry about this? Anyway. He means the survey on the fan site, right? I guess we should look forward to it. I, he's just trying so hard. Hey, inmate! Take care of them. Taking it out already looks even stronger now. You want to let it out? <laughs> I'll take care of them. So, who's it gonna be? and they're with them. Oh, I'll take good care of you. Done already? What? It is time, inmate. Man, that detective from yesterday really pissed me off. Or some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Ow! <clears throat> You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. They'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Hey, you're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give me some! Sorry, just ate the last one. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? 
We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? The hell? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? You said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? Your student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. They've got to be more dependable than some people I know. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah. It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions. But being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is real irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. You are not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's, I mean, An's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. <laughs> what? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. You're the impossible one. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. <laughs> Seriously, though, what are we gonna do about him? What about Ryuji's place? It's way too small. Plus, my mom had never agreed to it. Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe is only a minute walk from the station. Morgana, this is not your place. <laughs> stupid cat. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea! We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. Alright, it's decided! Nobody asked me! Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. Stupid cat. What a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. Can't say I hate it, though. People refer to that as retro. 
Hmm. Who are they? Hello. A girl too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really. He's been great. Huh. Sit down. This rent will be on the house. You're helping, though. Wow. It's delicious. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, oh, give me a taste. punishment <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either these are your friends yeah go on and take them up to your room no need to stay down here Ooh, I want to see it's only an attic oh man nah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth thank you very much for the drink up these stairs oh and uh thanks for the soda So you're a... Uh... An. An Takamaki. Anchan, huh? It's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? Nope. Never have either. Hey! You gotta get up here! This place is freaking insane! Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee. Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Sweet girl. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh! See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. What? Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? Sleep on it. I knew you were gonna say that. Seriously. It's so like you. But... what else can we do? Damn it. Never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate. What the? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So. Typical art student. How about that welcome party? Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? Finish it with udon. What? <laughs> what my ass? You don't have any cash. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later.
Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. I heard you're all having hot pot for dinner. Come on, join us. Don't you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. Her name was Ahn, right? She's a nice girl. Why do you say that? I just had a chat with her. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. Hmm, where did I put that pot? Yeah, try looking around. Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip. So, I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while, though. Yeah, just be careful with the fire, okay? And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland, but I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now. Yes? Mm-hmm, it's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Oh, I can't eat another bite. That was delicious, Lady Ann. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some... <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. <sighs> She's asleep already? Yeah, it'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know Ahn? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady Ann like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. 
You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, Nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No. Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? I don't remember. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. 
And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. <laughs> we'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. <laughs> that sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Fine. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now's a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. What kind of nickname is that? Yeah, that's... Mm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. <laughs> to, to you specifically, Morgana. Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. Ah, huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now. But what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. I think that she is a great teammate. Oh, th that's not what I meant. Come on, can't you act a little more like a guy our age? Doesn't she at least look better than a celebrity? I'll be sure to share what you've said with On. <laughs> oh, please don't. Seriously? <laughs> that aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. But I'm on offense duty, you know? And Morgana specializes in stuff about that world, so... Hmm... Still... Freaking hot! How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? I can't stand it anymore! Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll uh I'll contact everyone. I have something. Hey. Get asshole. <laughs> Pictures from today. Steam fogged up his glasses. Another of the many charms of the eating hot pot, I suppose. Oh man, I keep looking back at this picture, and Reginald's face is still hilarious. Oh yeah, Yusuke is still at Reginald's place, right? Don't go making any trouble for him, okay? Of course. Well, like, I'd like to think I'm not that socially gracious. All I can ask is a warm futon and a traditional bre Japanese breakfast. That's asking a lot. Well.
Hey yo, what up? The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? They seem to have influenced you. <laughs> These picaresque dissidents of society deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. All right. It's almost time. You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? Mm. You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rivals. You have such high self-esteem. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I... Oh, that's surprising. So, you're just the good girl type of pushover. Damn, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. That's all? You know how it is. Sympathy makes you do stupid things sometimes. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too. Besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. 
I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. Hey! I'm finally awake. Where's he scared? He wasn't around when I woke up. He must be downstairs. You up? You're finally up. You know what's past noon? That kid ended up going back to his dorms. He left this painting before he took off, though. Supposedly to thank us for taking care of him. Don't sell it. <sighs> Don't be ridiculous. I never let go of beauty like this. And this painting is amazing. Not only is the mother stunning, but the expression on her face. The regulars will probably freak out when they see it, didn't you? Still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it, though. Hey. Well, if you're up for the day, go on and get dressed. I opened shop hours ago, so go take the cat out somewhere. Thank you again for letting me stay the night. Apologies for leaving so quietly, but your rest seems peaceful. After a great deal of inner struggle, I have decided to return to the dormitories. Furthermore, I have entrusted this Sayuri to your protector, Sojiro. That painting should no longer exist in reality, but it is truly what my mother painted. I am simply satisfied that we were able to obtain it. And it was all because of you guys. I cannot thank you much. P.S. I still believe porch is the best way to end a hot pot. Hey, hey! This isn't actually a request from the fan site, but a personal one. The truth is, my younger student came to consult with me about something the other day. It sounds like he's getting blackmailed at his job by the store manager. Manager? Yeah. From what he told me, money went missing from the register he was supposed to be in charge of. At such, he's been falsely accused of stealing money from the store. Now the manager is making him pay money the full him making him pay back the full you make you. He's fifty thousand yen. Ooh, get a lot of money. Yes, this guy is like the most honest person I know. There's no way he'd steal all that money. And well, I did some research into the store online. According to some rumors, the manager might be the one stealing the money. He's the only person who checks the registers after all. On top of that, some other staff members saw him taking cash out when he was calculating totals. Anyway, the guy's na name seems to be Nozomi Odo. I found I found it out when I looked into the store. Please, you gotta help the student. Okay, cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, I just checked the fan site. There's some kind of threat thread on there looking for info about burglars using the Phantom Thieves name. Sounds pretty lame to me. Oh, I saw that too. They they targeted re they target restaurants, right? I actually found a really interesting post on there. My brother was has suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. I might end up getting killed at this break. I wonder if it's because he got caught up with all those weird people in Shibuya. You think he means those burglars when he's talking about them weird people? It may be too soon to assume that. The post said he started spending a bunch of money lately too. Isn't that kind of suspicious? I wonder how many burglar groups there even are in Shibuya. Damn, things are really starting to get serious. Well, let's look into it. 
thought you'd say that. Although, how exactly will we be will we go about investigating? We'll go to Shibuya in the middle of the night and catch them all red-handed. No way. The police would totally nab us if we were out that late. Plus it would be bad if the chef if the chief knew you were out in the middle of the night. Hmm. If they target restaurants. Aha! What if we drew them to LeBlanc? What? Hmm. There's no way. Who would go over go after a shop like this? Wouldn't that cause a lot of trouble for boss? LeBlanc targeted. It seems like a viable plan to me. Sure, let's do it. Let's cut it out. You'd get kicked out of LeBlanc if, if we failed. Oh, I suppose I left the Sayori there as well. I I have forgotten. Okay, yeah, that that that's true. That's true. How do you forget something that important? Either way, I don't really want more thieves to be posing as us in the future. I wish there was some way we could make an example of these ones. At the moment, our lack of info means we will just have to wait. We can continue searching for more information wherever possible, though. Yeah. I'm gonna try looking for stuff, too. Hey! <sighs> okay. Let's see here. So, today's going to be a little busy day. We're going to... What should I get for Shiho? It's hard deciding for myself. Bag myself that one. For real? Hey, I have some big news. The double cream from that famous crepe shop is half off right now. Hmm. Oh, but I probably can't take a crepe into the hospital, huh? I really want one though. Do you think maybe Shiho would want one too? Give it up. Right. It might be half off, but I should try to control myself. Oh. She'll might have rehab today too. They probably wouldn't even let her eat it. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention she started her physical rehab. She pushed it off ahead of schedule. I think it's because I told her about how I want to get strong. She said she was gonna start working hard too. I haven't actually seen any of her rehab sessions yet, though. Hold on. What? Now? Uh, that's not good. Sorry. Something just came up. That was from my agency. One of the models didn't show for a magazine shoot they're doing. They're looking to wrap up soon, so I'm g gonna head over now to fill in. Let's go! Pretty close though. Want to come with? Actually, let's just go. Well, I'll brace you there. Looks like they're having a pre shoot briefing. On Senpai. I'm so pumped to get to work with you today. After I saw you in last year's show, I just 
Oh, I think I'm gonna cry. Right. Um, it really wasn't a big deal. That fashion show was tiny. By the way, I'm Mika. And please, no honorifics. I might be older, but you have loads more experience on Senpai. Uh, Alright, Mika. <laughs> it feels a little weird saying it like that. Oh, and you don't need to use Senpai with me. Anyway, um, it's nice to meet you. Likewise, I'm Chan. <laughs> You're so nice. Hey, can you teach me how to be a better model? You know, your everyday routine stretches. Hmm? Routines? You mean like singing in the shower? Oh, is that all you do? And what kind of stuff do you eat? I've been looking all over the place to import some organic green almonds. Plus, I'm getting super tired of eating quinoa. Do I need to, like, boil it in hard water or something? Hmm? Um, almonds? I only ever eat those when they're covered in chocolate. And hard water? Isn't it kind of tough to boil ice? <laughs> Do you weigh yourself? Oh, of course! Once a year for the health examinations at school. So you're gonna keep it all a secret from me, huh? I get it. I guess it's hard trusting someone you just met. But that's not it. I just don't really think about that stuff. It has nothing to do with not trusting you. It's more that modeling is like a hobby for me. What? On Senpai. That's so horrible. What do you mean you don't care about modeling for these guys? You said that, Anchan? Wait, I. I love this magazine. Everyone tries so hard to make sure their product is the best. Mika chan, just calm down. Don't worry, we all know that you're giving it your all here. But you guys work so hard, so much harder than me, and I'm still the one getting comforted. Wait! But hold on. Anchan, the truth is, we have both you and Mika-chan come down as substitutes for our missing model. We wanted both of you on the cover, but if you're not really in- But if you're not really interested... Hey, I didn't- don't worry, I I can do it alone. I read I read the concept docs on my way here. <laughs> what? You faker! You're so mean, Anchad. Do you really hate me that much? Keep it civil, you two. Anyway, you go you good to go, Mika Chan? Sorry about all this, Anchan. We won't be needing you today. We'll reimburse your transportation expenses, though. And even throw in a little extra for your trouble. Oh, but... Magazine staff's left for the photo shoot. <sighs> I really screwed that up. I can't believe this is the... You're... She's amazing, huh? Yeah. But maybe it's because deep down, I'm... Not actually that invested in modeling. She sees straight through that. <sighs> anyway, I totally ruined that shoot. But still, wasn't Mika's fake crying pretty incredible? It had grace. Do you think oh, maybe that's what I'm missing? I don't know though, I think I'm pretty good at fake crying myself. I know the perfect technique. So how do you do it? Listen carefully. The key is, you don't actually cry. I mean, that's why it's, it's fake. Yes! Either way, I think I'll be able to use that ability to our advantage in the metaverse. I'll turn my failure today into positive energy move going forward. Chance to 
force enemies to ask for less during negotiations. All right. Speaking of the metaverse, I'm gonna try super hard in my work with the fan themes too. But for now, I should go stop by and see Shuha at the hospital. Thanks! Thanks for today. Bye! Ah, you're back. So what do you guys wanna do about your so what do you bring your managing next to you? Well that's sudden. Well after what that guy said, sitting around doing nothing just pisses me off. You're talking about a catchy gun, right? I know how you feel. Ah, uh, that high school detective. You'd have to shut up if we changed another person's heart. You think so? Come on, you gotta be more confident about that, this kind of stuff. But he did mention that the police are starting to mobilize. Either way, I don't think we should ha leave Akechi Kun be. This is the perfect time to meet and discuss what our strategy should be going forward. Let us gather at the hideout tomorrow. Sure, sure. We're going to go. Just uh, trades. This is a trader. So I got a decker of whip, which is one of the best. Uh, one of the best weapons for on. Good. Really? Good. No! Stop it! This is a travesty. Oh my god, this is such a travesty. Come on. Weapon. Melee. Dagger whip. Woohoo. Okay. Say we head on over. Everyone, that you that you possess free will does not mean that you can always do as you please. To make your decisions based simply on loss and gain is to act like a heartless machine. The reason so few people care about their fellow man is because so few have the energy to do so. We politicians have fallen short of our goal to change society. We need your support more than ever. That approach isn't going to work. You have to get the voters more excited. You're going to completely lose the hearts and minds of the people. Again, what I'd like to say is... What? Councilman Matsushita? It's been so long since we last spoke. I wanted to stop by to see how you were doing. Oh, you were you have a high schooler volunteering for you, huh? My times have changed. Do you know about the Karumato children? Yes, Mr. Yushida told me. That was nearly 20 years ago. I'm impressed that you're so interested in politics. I was a member of the Kuramoto children as well. Yoshida and I joined the same year. I made an amazing career change, going from a pro wrestler to a diet member. I was elected easily, but I had no idea what I was doing. I realized I wasn't elected on my own merit when I failed to be re-elected for a second term. That was true for the both of us. No. You made a great comeback though. 
you're truly an inspiration. As you are. As are you, old friend. You're look working harder than anyone on the campaign trail. Oh, there's no need for false praise to impress the boy here. Yeah, she is well informed about the inner workings of politics, so I'm sure he'll be a great teacher. However, I suggest you only do as he says and not as he does, if you want to be a d become a diet member. Hmm? And what might that mean? I'm guessing he doesn't know. You really think you can win the election by being completely honest and making good arguments? You've got to secure votes, or else you'll be forever known as no good Torah. What? Without honesty and good arguments, there can be no political justice. <laughs> it's been a while since I've heard one of your grandiose speeches. Prime Boy Kun, was it? Tell me, what about Yoshida here drew you in? Message. Crime Boy Kun. You address matters quite directly for a young person. It seems you have been taught well. You're right. I intend to teach him everything I know. That's what we agreed on. Allows you to ask for large amounts of money during All right. negotiations. By the way, how are things between you and old man Kiramoto? Yes. Or not. Still not on speaking terms. There's something I'd like to get your opinion on, so I'll be in touch. Very well. Oh, that reminds me. You may still distrust me because of what happened with the missing party funds, but I'm not the one who pointed the finger at you. That's all I'm going to say. <clears throat> Why did he have to mention that? My, my apologies. That's all for today. Well then, I'll see Good you job. again. Okay. Sure. Hello. Thanks again for your help today. What a mess. Past mistakes can really come back to bite you. It's hard to feel like you've ever truly escaped them. Some people can fight their way back up like Matsushita, but many end up suffering under the weight of labels. Even after 20 years, I'm still nothing more than no good Toro. But I will not give up. It's true that I lost a lot. But I did learn a great many things along the way. Somewhere in the middle of it all, my old stubbornness was tempered into conviction. My one redeeming quality. That is why I want you to use your experiences to forge your own conviction. I will. Yes, you're still young after all. You have a great deal more learning and growing to do. Ah, I ended up taking longer than I expected. Wait, well, until next time. Hi. Fancy me seeing you here. Oh, right. I guess Shujin was in this direction, too. Still, I wouldn't have expected to run into you as at this time. Perhaps it really is fate. How are you doing? Not bad. <laughs> Relax as always, I see. I've been getting interviewed a lot lately, so I've been w wondering how to answer such questions. Mm. I see now that there's no need to be so roundabout with my responses. Talking with you helps me realize many things. If it isn't too much trouble, may I ask with you again sometime? May I speak with you again sometime? Green. 
This is it. Oh, good. You haven't gone home yet. Nijimisan's looking for you. Could you head to the student council room right away? She says there's no report of a lost item, so she wants you to start filling out some paperwork. Makoto Nijima-san is the class president of Shujin Academy. The student council room is on the third floor, next to the library. <laughs> Got it? <sighs> Why am I running errands for a student? I know she's the principal's favorite or whatever. Nijima's the girl who keeps following you around, right? What can she want? Best girl wants something to do with me. Anyway, um. <clears throat> Cast. Library. Library. Student Hmm. Expected. Have a seat. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashida and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? What could all this mean? We screwed up. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? Ask the culprit. You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. You'll tell me, won't you? That's the same as admitting to it, you know. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak? <laughs> Let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. That idiot! As loud as always. But his timing's perfect. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Won't you take me to your friends? I guess it can't be helped now. Oh. Hmm? Here? Is that girl a friend of yours? What the, what the hell? What's the meaning of this? I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto. On Takamaki. And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year of Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame. I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame, while those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. I... I know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Who? Hmm. 
So you're not saying it's impossible. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. Check in, mate. <sighs> this is turning into a real pain. You were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Anything to say, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know? I'm so sorry. Hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. And even with that, there's no way they could prove our methods. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation, after all. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. And I totally don't want to deal with the police. Then... We have no other choice but to go along with it. Yes. It's best we agree. At least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah, yeah. My bad. So, we doing this? We have to. Alright. We're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? But what about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. What could she be scheming? I'm so effing pissed. Why do we... Do we just gotta do what she says? Considering what has happened, it seems we have no other choice. Wonder whose heart the student council president would want us to change. No matter me. There might be a reason behind who she picks, right? I'm curious myself. She mentioned how she wants us to prove our justice, did she not? Yeah, she definitely did. Then there must be some reasoning behind her choice. Please contact me immediately if you find anything out. And don't go picking any fights, okay? Do you understand, Ryuji? Why are you signaling me out? I ain't dumb. Hey! talk to you, but since we have the time, do you want to go play billiards together? It's not that difficult, and we can chat and play at the same time. How about it? What do you want to do? I'm glad I asked. I was a little worried you'd turn me down. Well then, let's get going. That is good to hear. I found myself with some free time, so I was hoping to find someone to play against. You always seem so busy. Well, I wouldn't say I'm unoccupied, but I'm not busy all the time either. If anything, it's my policy to spend my spare time in meaningful ways. Now, let's play a game. You've played pool before, correct? <laughs> my apologies. A break case. No, that, you stupid. That means he. We have to redo it. Is that your win? Well, the nine ball has been sunk already, so. But that was just a coincidence, of course. So we can start over. That won't count. Hmm, oof. Bad move on my part. If you can get this next one, I'm in trouble. Hmm. 
not bad. Everything's riding on you. your next shot, though. How will you handle this? I'll just shoot very carefully. Well, let's see your skills. wasn't enough for us, it didn't even reach the pocket. Womp womp. I win. <laughs> that was close to the button, though. I suppose it would have been embarrassing to lose to Ezra Senior, huh? <laughs> Something seems off. Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> Kidding, of course. Oh, my apologies. A brave case. Is something the matter? Aren't you left-handed? Huh. That's not bad. I'm honestly impressed you noticed. That's right, this one's my dominant hand. I switched hands during the game. It's not anything against you. Going all out against a junior just seems a bit... gosh. But, I confess, you've surprised me. I'm rather dexterous with my right hand. I can even use chopsticks with it. Frankly, I didn't expect you to see through it. You see a lot of things. <laughs> oh, as those glasses are just for... So those glasses are just for the aesthetic, then. Or were you being metaphorical? You're a hard one to read sometimes. In any case, you truly are interesting. You never cease to intrigue me. If you ever manage to win against me using my right hand, then I will face you with everything I have. You have my word. Goodbye then. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming along today. Our little game turned out to be more interesting than I, than I expected. Barely anyone notices when I don't use my dominant hand. I can only commend your powers of observation. I think you'd be an interesting influence on me. If you're so inclined, we could go out again sometime. As rivals? <laughs> Whatever works for you. As long as I can spend some time with you, think of it as you please. Well, I suppose I'll reach out the next time something comes up. See you. It's you. Morning. Going to school now? I'm just heading home. The morning sun is so too bright. What about your job? Nope. I pulled an all-nighter. Journalist at Chico Oja works around the clock, you know. Well, you work hard on your studies. Cool. Random lady. I was thinking you might not show. So, whose heart do you want us to change? A Mafia boss. Mafia? What are you talking about? That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. What's worse, once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. No! They primarily target juveniles. What's the boss's name? Nobody knows. The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. 
that's where you want us to start? You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous band in Thebes. Or is Akechi-kun correct when he says you act without justice? Can't you say something witty back at her? Something witty. I knew you were gonna say that. Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. You have two weeks. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. I hope you don't let me down. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. <laughs> don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on, we should get in touch with Yusuke. The student council president from Chujin Academy? Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? Never notice. Why would Makoto? Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. I'm so mad. The Mafia. Hmm. Can we really do this? <coughs> Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How? We're in huge trouble! Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for. Oh, right! That might make people believe in us. I get it. That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. What do you say, leader? That's our chance. Hell yeah! We just gotta do what we always do. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. Alright, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. Alright, let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. We're meeting in front of the school tomorrow, right? Don't worry. I'm sure we'll find something new. Could I have a moment? What's well, up? it's... I had a yearning to see the Sayori. So if you're heading homeward, I'll accompany you. Ah, <sighs> the Sayori. It seems to suit this cafe quite well. I'm glad I chose to leave it here. I fear I have found myself in quite a horrible mess. What are you talking about? To put it bluntly, I am in need of your assistance. Please, listen to what I must say. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. However, each of those struggles did eventually fade. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation, but the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I am trapped in what we in the art world call a slum. Are you aware that I am attending Kosei on an art scholarship? Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. 
I wanted nothing more than to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayori in my own work. Yet, what reason do I have now? Holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires are all that spur my brush to move. And the resulting work reflects such impurity of mine, to be honest. I am unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist anymore. You're so tough on yourself. Well, my apologies. It seems I got somewhat carried away there. But I, I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. That is why I'm so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is, in essence, a sin of sorts. No, I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. I only wish to create a work I can be genuinely proud of. Just look at the Sayori. Her incandescent figure, alluring gaze. That is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Why is that, you ask? It is surely because the painter behind the work differs. Because the soul differs. But, if my estimations are correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What, then, is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand. <sighs> to be perfectly frank, though, I am unsure of how to do so. Would you be able to provide me assistance? You have already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you of all people may be able to bring me closer to the truth. I'd be glad to help. You would? <laughs> Wonderful. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic changes in my work. But I cannot hide forever. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep onto an artist's canvas eventually. I must go now. My curfew approaches. I look forward to speaking about this matter again. Rain, huh? So I checked online and people are talking about it all over. Now in my expert opinion, Ida, the Ida, Le, Lida, it, the Bido, class 2D is guilty. You mean Yubika from our class? Wait, start at the beginning. What's he guilty of? Supposedly he's been spending money left and right recently. Said he's caught. It's cause of some great part-time job he got. I see. That may very well be worth looking into. Right? Can you try asking him about it on? I don't think he'd be cautious around a girl. In that case, yeah, I don't mind giving it a try. Although, I've really talked to Edekun before. I'll be counting on you to back me up if something happens, Reginald. To me. It's, that's a huge help. I'm hoping for some great things this time from Takamiki-san's world-class, wonderful acting. Shut it. I hope this will get us even marginally closer to their so-called boss. I leave this Ida to you too. And I have high hopes for your acting as well, Han. You're both missing the point. Hey! That true that Edith guy is guilty? You can... Well, we'll need to dig up some dirt first thing in the morning. First, Sodi.
night. That Eater guy is here. I'll try and ask him about it. Young Naya, give it to me. That level of motivation actually helped, makes me a little more nervous. In any case, let us know if you learn anything. What is going on here? Apparently the damage done by this so-called mafia has even reached our student body. Well... I thought this absurdity was nothing but a joke. Not only are there victims, there are even rumors that some are involved with such crimes. I've even received inquiries from their guardians. Why is this happening? Unfortunately, I do not have the answer to that. This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy. If it were to be discovered. This is a vital issue for the student council. Did I not ask you to resolve it? I'm doing the best I can. And I can trust you? You must do something about this at once. You're the only one who is reliable around here. Don't let me down. Well, you do something about it, Egghead. From what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied with you. At this rate, you and I will both lose our roles at this school. Do you understand? I do. Please, just give me a little more time. Ah, uh, kids, the... This is it. Now, can you tell me about this easy part-time job? I'm sure you know about it, Ida-kun. Please? <sighs> she don't need my help. A girl like you could probably get a job anywhere, right? Huh? Um... Now that you mention it... Yes. So, um... What I mean is... This is going south fast. <laughs> uh, oh! Francois! Huh? My cat, Francois, got run over by a car, and also has an incurable illness. I need money fast. That's not convincing at all. Is she talking about me? Uh, if Francois were to die, I think I'd die too. Probably. Come on, don't talk like that. If you don't like it, then tell me about that easy part-time job. You know something, don't you? I've heard the rumors. Rumors? Was it Nishiyama who... Nishiyama? Oh, uh... Hey, what was that about Nishiyama? That's... She actually got the momentum back. She's not acting anymore now, is she? Come on. Let's leave this guy to Lady On and go look for that Nishiyama fellow. Hmm? Okay, who the hell is Nishiyama? Damn it. Hmm? for something, right? I want to help you out, so please ask me anything. Nishiyama? He usually hangs out with Ida. Oh, so you want to ask him about Ida. So that's why Takamaki-san was chasing him. I'm sorry, I don't know where he is right now. He usually stays till late, so I think he's probably still somewhere in the school. 
I'll keep digging around while you're looking for him. Well, I guess we can let him handle this. We'll have to ask someone else about Nishiyama's whereabouts. Can you think of anyone who might know? Maybe... Nishiyama? That's just me. You're that transfer student, right? You need something? What's this kind of job? job? Uh, are you talking about that one time? I, I, I don't know. I said I didn't want to do it. That's something, Ida. Wait, are you doing something to him? He's been acting really strange lately. I want to help him. Oh, what do you mean? Is he really wrapped up in something shady? Tell me what you know. One day, the two of us went to Shibuya, and a man approached us over near Central Street. He asked if we were interested in an easy part-time job. I said I wasn't, but Ida was into it. He was asking the guy all sorts of questions. What was this? I, I don't know. I was so scared, I ended up going home alone. But according to Ida, it only takes ten minutes, and is good for people who don't stand out. Happened after that. Ida started spending a lot of money. That's when his strange behavior began, too. But that's all I know. That's enough, right? A man on Central Street, huh? That is suspicious. Maybe he was making him commit crimes? Have you found out anything, Reginald? I've tried looking into his high paying part time job myself. People seem to be talking about it here as well. Supposedly, a man will talk to you in broad daylight over on Central Street, and your job is to deliver a small envelope he hands you. Well, I will call to you if you... Oh, so that means this part-time job is somehow crime-related. It takes ten minutes, is good for people who don't stand out, and involves a small envelope. Does that ring any bells? It's something the Mafia would definitely be up to. All drugs. Illegal drugs? Maybe they made Ida smuggle drugs for them. That definitely fits with a small envelope. And you can get arrested just for possession. Did you meet Nishiyama? Well, I looked into Ida on my way, on my own anyway. Rumor has it he got involved in some kind of suspicious part-time job. And that job's apparently totally insane. Something about trafficking drugs, I think. Here they ask you to t take part in it down in Central Street in broad daylight. Even. So he is smuggling. And this won't be pretty. Come on, let's go back to Lady On. We'll ask Ida directly. Hmm? Please tell me about the job, or else my beloved Francois. She's still doing that? All right. Take over for her. That's the uh, truth. Come on, you two. I already told you I don't know. Is she, uh, we have proof. Proof? You've got to be lying. You can't trick me. Come on, you two. I already told you I don't know. Nishiyama told me everything. He did? That bastard. Damn it. Shit. Well, if you already know about it, fine. I don't want to talk about it here. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. 
What's up with you? Especially in front of everyone. Yeah, I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? What are you getting at? You're a drug smuggler. How do you... I've only told one person about that. All people. I can't believe you were the one to find out. You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All they had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers, and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. Are you being threatened? So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. Said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me too? Never. I see. Well, even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything you want to know, right? So can I go? Well then. How'd it go? Dead ons acting help at all? I think probably not. It went perfectly, I think. More importantly, were you able to find anything, Reginald? It's drugs. So they ask you to deliver drugs. That's serious. I just searched for Shibuya drugs and got tons of hits too. So they're making people traffic drugs, then threatening them. That must be what I heard people talking about in Shibuya. They seem to be going about this quite openly during the daytime. What bad methodology. I wouldn't imagine they would do it at night. I wonder why they chose the day. They need to blend in. I see. Yes, more students will be out during the day, while the police will be more cautious at night. Ryuji, you're over in Shibuya right now. Do you see anyone like that there? Yeah, I'm at Central Street. It's tough to tell, though. I mean, there are just way too many people. The goddamn rain's not helping out either. The sun will be setting soon. What should we do, Reginald? Let's stop for today. Yeah, we, we can team up and try searching again tomorrow. I bet Ryuji would get picked up by the cops if he was out there alone t anyway. Shut up. In any case, we have some new intel. Let us call that progress for today. Whoever asks us to take on that job should know who their boss is too. Alright, I'll get in touch with you guys later tonight and we can come up with a plan. We have to find them tomorrow for sure. This is the only lead we have right now. Yes, and it is highly likely that part that this part-time solicitor is somehow related to the mafia. If we tail him, he may lead us straight back to his boss. We talked to Ida and Nishi Nishiyama over at Central Street, right? Indeed, it seems that is where our target waits. Then, who would be the one to go? I choose you. That's not a bad idea. Cats have nine lives, right? Morgana can spare one for this. Wouldn't the Mafia get caught off guard if they had a cat coming to deliver drugs for them? In other words, Reginald will be going. I have no objections. <laughs> Tricking people and using that as blackmail? These bastards are true cowards. It's kind of scary to think people like that are all around us in this city. Well guys, we gotta brace ourselves. We're up against a serious criminal here. Oh. Speaking Hi. of illegal activity. <laughs> hey! Oh. 
potentially. Thank be you so active. much. Hey. So, Master, I want to provide more services for you. <laughs> that, that would be. What are you scheming? Definitely not. I I'm definitely not scheming anything. Meow. I just want to be requested more. I'm really good at giving massages, meow. I'll massage you anywhere you like. Well, how was that? <sighs> <sighs> the thing is, I talked to my boss about picking up more shifts, but he said that he prioritizes younger women. How rude. Seriously, you didn't have to say that right to my face. I mean, age has nothing to do with cleaning a room. And I look damn good for my age. I do say so myself. The girls in my neighborhood always tell me I'm pretty. And the latchkey kid who lives next door always asks me to tie up her hair. Thanks to that, I'm an expert with these pigtails now. See? So I'm damn good for... Wait, don't tell me I'm the only one who thinks this way. Master! Would you please give me your honest opinion? I look pretty good as a maid, don't I? Bro, you need to love yourself. Huh? I don't really feel like I'm worth being loved. But you're right. You go out of your way to request me, and all I do is sit here and vent to you. What the heck am I saying? You're my student. My double life as both a teacher and a maid is so exhausting. Maybe I let my guard down because you know both sides of me. The more I can come here, the more I feel like I can relax. As a maid, I'm supposed to help my master relax, but instead... I'm the one who's being helped. Sorry. Sorry, I'm such a horrible maid. All right. Uh, I have to so... confess something. I lied about the reason why I need to make more money. I don't have a sick sister. All that stuff about the fees and charges was a lie, too. Uh, yeah, I already knew that. I can't get requested unless I make up those types of stories. See, you understand now, right? Nothing good will come from involving yourself with a terrible person like me. It's a good lesson learned. <sighs> Let's just put an end to this. <sighs> Thank you for using our service. humid. I don't get it. Okay, we're all here. There sure are a lot of high schoolers during the day. They must be targeting them somehow. Finding the specifics may be difficult. With such a crowd, the odds are against us. We have to do this. Right. We're gonna grab him by the tail. You should head over to Central Street, like we planned yesterday. Sweet. Let's get going. Let me know if you find any shady people. All right. Let's go. Just as we planned, we might end up running into the Mafia. Be ready for anything. Aren't you interested in all the hottest brand names? We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much, so I have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price, wouldn't you say? 
Hey, what about you? These are unforgettable deals. Well, that's disappointing. Come back if you change your mind. Come on, the shop's right around here. How about you come take a look? Seems like some kind of sale. You probably shouldn't bother. God. Main character and Morgana are so stupid. They're right there. They're gonna be like, oh man. Sucks. Couldn't find anything. Oh. Residents here. I walked past her at the station. Is she keeping an eye on us? Maybe I guess she's curious after ap about all of this. Well, let's just ignore her if she's not getting in our way. More importantly, how are things on your guys' end? Nothing so far. I'm going to try staking out the underground walkway. And I'll check around the Inagami line. I guess I'll get there from the underground. I will gather some more intel in the underground shopping mall as well. Please continue on your end. Yeah, everyone's really going about this seriously. They're definitely worthy of being phantom thieves. We Shut up. going? Have you found anything? A little. Ah, so you've grasped something already, as to be expected of someone like you, Richmond. Why don't we just go over the intel we've gotten so far? I'll start. Supposedly some guy near the access way talking about some kind of strong drugs. I'm not counting on anything, but I'll go check it out. As for me, I heard about someone soliciting a high-paying job in the station plaza. Apparently, they're mostly targeting girls. I'll go see what it's about. On my end, I heard there were people saying strange things in the back alley near the arcade. Something about ice and vegetables, and something about snow tomorrow. It will go. I will go observe, just in case. The arcade isn't on Central Street, correct? Alright. We should do what we can to help them out. I have no idea which of these leads are real. Try going to the most suspicious. progress toward finding the boss. Is it going well? That's good to hear. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? 
Don't you want something more than just your allowances? Hmm. By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious materials? <laughs> You're a funny girl. So, you won't answer me. Then I was right. Huh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? I'll call the cops on you. Oh. Uh... It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Um, if you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. You really gonna say that, knowing who he is? <laughs> no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. I'm pretty sure he's part of the mafia we're looking for. Let's go after him. I think we should get some proof before we do that. I tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. I I'm going to go now. That boss seems tricky. And it looks like he taught his subordinates well, too. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. Though we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. How about it? Wanna meet up? Yeah. It's not. That would be best. We did ask tons of people, so there's a chance we're being, getting followed. Just to be safe, we should refrain from doing anything to make ourselves stand out. The sun will be setting soon. So let's disband for today and report on our findings tomorrow. I don't leave me at karaoke tomorrow. We can talk in private and it'll be cheap after school. Ah, that would that must be what they call hustle hour. Dude, it's muscle hour. Wait, is that wrong too? Um hello, happy hour. Muscle hour just sounds sweaty. Anyway, see you guys at karaoke tomorrow. An unknown number. Hello, this is Nijima. Makoto Nijima. Thanks for earlier. How'd you get my number? I dug it up. I realize I'm apologizing after the fact, but it just didn't feel right keeping it from you, so that's all. Bye. I'm searching all alone. <laughs> you talking to a woman? I heard her voice. Speaking of, some girl called looking for you around noon. Said she's the class president. Said she's got something that belongs to you. She seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. She must have looked up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. That Nijima sure is thorough. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. Hey, hey! Changes with the season. Wardrobe. This this one this one's a little a little bulky. I swear, it's supposed to be a random stat. It doesn't just have to be charm.
So, we meet again. But my what murky weather we're having. Speaking of murky, there haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Madarame's case will be the last. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? I have no idea. To be blunt, neither do I. There's just not enough material to form any concrete thoughts. However, I'm positive they'll soon target someone who will garner even more attention. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. Aw, oh, for real? We didn't get anything? God, they suck. Man, we're going nowhere with this. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? You mean, change our target? Just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. Han's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? I really have no talent. <laughs> Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off, but... That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. Someone think for me. That's what I was gonna say. I'm seriously drawing a blank. Wait! That journalist! You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh, gross. Oh, yeah! I completely forgot about her! Didn't she give you her card? This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. Oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Ah, come on. Let's just go. <sighs> How wasteful. <coughs> <sighs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? Hey. Mm. Hurry. Oh. Hi. Hey. Where have you been? I'm searching all. Jeez. Are you? Serious. I told you that the story about my sick little sister was a lie. You know you're being used for money, and you still request me. It's fun. Huh? Are you extreme masochist or something? You really are one strange kid. I'm a mediocre teacher and a mediocre maid. And yet, you listen to everything I have to say. You're the complete opposite of me. I don't even un properly attend to my students' needs. So... The money is actually an apology. There was a student named Takase at the school I taught at before Shujin. 
The Kasekun was considered a problem child since he had the lowest grades and skipped school a lot. So I was put in charge of guiding him, or rather pushing him to transfer to another school. But when I got to know him, I realized that he wasn't a problem child at all. In fact, he was working several part-time jobs just so he could cover his living expenses. His relatives took him in when his parents died, so he had to make money to support himself. He couldn't attend school every day, but he was motivated to study. That's why I decided to tutor him. After I started working with him, his grades started to improve, slowly but surely. But I was told that it was wrong to only help certain students and others, and to help certain students and not others. Then a strange rumor about him being a juvenile delinquent began to circulate. And on top of that, I got called into the principal's office. He threatened me, saying that I'd be dismissed if I continued to tutor to cut Seikun. How terrible. Yeah. But you could say the same about me. I got scared of losing my job and of having rumors spread about me. So I canceled our upcoming tutor sessions. Takase-kun was on his way to one of his part-time jobs when I told him. Out of all the days, it was New Year's Eve, and it had been pouring rain all day, and he died in a car crash. He sounded so depressed when I told him that I couldn't tutor him anymore. But then he said that it was no big deal because he had to work anyway, so I wouldn't feel bad. If only I had kept my promise to him. It's no one's fault. Takase-kun was exhausted from the tutoring sessions and working at all his part-time jobs. His guardians blamed me for the accident, saying it was all my fault that he was so tired. They said that they were going to sue me and take the issue to the media and Board of Education. I wouldn't have been accused of a crime, but if word had gotten out, the school would have been done for. I wanted to continue ter teaching no matter what, so I ended up paying them the apology money so they wouldn't sue me or say anything. You okay with that? It was my indecisiveness that backed him into a corner and I blame myself every day. I know paying them isn't going to bring him back, but it's the only way I can atone for my sins. It seems like his guardians are satisfied with our arrangement, so... See? Nothing good ever comes from getting involved with me. I have to keep my distance to avoid hurting others so I don't meddle in my students' lives. I've been coming here because of a random twist of fate, but we should say goodbye as well. It's too late now. Come on, bud -kun. You're really not the type to back down, are you? <laughs> I guess we're in this together, now that I told you the whole story, right? Yeah. I'll see what I can do after the other te about the other teachers so you can get free appearance with them too. I look forward to continuing our relationship. All right. All righty, time to clean. I'm going to put more energy into it than usual today. Kiv cough, kiv, kiv. Oh my, the room is so dusty. Even though I wipe the place squeaky clean every visit. Well, I guess it's all for you, Master. I'll work hard to earn my keep. Uh, kiv cough, kiv, kiv, kiv. Hmm. Oh, uh, wow, it's so dusty. If my cough is already this bad. 
Maybe we'd better off tearing this place down than trying to clean it. Well, the shab I mean, chicness of this room is truly its charm, so let's keep it as is. Alright, I have to go. Thank you so much! I'll be eagerly waiting your next request, Master. Is this master? Thank you for using our service today. This is so soul draining. I'm just gonna talk normally. No point making sales calls this late anyways. By the way, I've always wanted to ask, but do you live in that cafe right now? There's always the nice curry smell around the place. Do you get to eat that place's curry every day? You want some? Oh, <laughs> then I can serve it to you. Uh, imagine it was cooked by your own maid with lots of love. <sighs> okay, that was a joke, but God, I could really go for some homemade curry right now. Kiff cough. Sorry, can't seem to shake this cough. I've been so busy lately. But I'll always be ready and waiting for Master Baru to request me. Okay, don't stay up too late, night. Makoto. I received a call from your school today. They were asking if you've made any lifestyle changes recently. Huh? <sighs> I gave them a suitable enough answer, but... Is there some kind of issue at school? No, nothing. I'm sorry to worry you. Hey. You've been coming home late these days. I doubt you would do such a thing, but try to avoid wandering around Shibuya late at night. I've heard stories of girls your age throw their lives away out there. Getting wrapped up in shady deals, blackmailed into sex work, I've heard rumors about that as well. People have been mentioning it at school. These aren't more rumors. Those aren't mere rumors. I know of a few such cases. <sighs> well, it should be nothing for you to worry about. Just concentrate on your studies for now. <laughs> You're unforgivable. Yo, did that reporter get in touch with you yet? We only just emailed her the other day. Why are you so hasty? I don't know. I've been looking for info, but I can't find a damn thing. We only got two weeks left, and duh, we're in a hurry. To be more precise, it's ten days. We ain't got gonna have much time if we start right after she responds. Looks like this battle will have to be a quick one then. We must not we we must also consider what we do in case she fails to respond entirely. Hey, don't jinx us. I'm merely discussing all the possible outcomes. Aren't you nervous about this? Nervousness will not help us solve anything at this point. We're in were that the solution to our problem, I would be much quicker to turn to panic. Wow, he's like some kind of philosopher. I think he's just an idiot. Nijima Senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me, too. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I, I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. That is not true. 
My goal here is to protect the students of this school. Please. Please hurry. <sighs> well then. Sorry to bother you while you are expecting information from that journalist. However, do you remember that thread about the group of burglars in Shibuya? Seems the one who posted about his brother is a student at my school. And so, after some prodding, I was able to pry a few more details out of him. Oh, right. I was actually wondering about that. It didn't sound like they had anything to do with the mafia we've been chasing. Indeed, now I was able to ascertain his brother's name. It's Kazuya Ma Makigami. Dude, it's freaking crazy that someone involved in that shit goes to your school. Nice going, Yusuke. And you even found the name of the guy we're looking for. That was super awesome. All we gotta do now is punish him in me mementos. This burglar guy isn't gonna be near as scary as Mafia. He's just a plain dude, right? We'll show him what being a family is really about. It seems we are, un we are unanimous, then. Further discuss the details of the hideout. Hmm. Hey. Cool. Um, actually. We're gonna go to Shibuya to watch people. Hello. Uh Reginald. This station is always full of people. It deserves us it serves us the perfect spot for people watching. By the way, do you have any business here? Do you see? <laughs> you must have a wealth of free time if that is your decision. May I get a word? I would like to speak with you. Yes. Do you remember how I mentioned my, my need to understand the heart? Well, I'm having a hard time grasping it. How will I be able to reach the truth of true of pure beauty? Reginald. What should I paint to capture the contents of the heart? Do mementos. Ah, oh, I see. Mementos. The desire that emanates from that place is the root of humanity. Incredible. You honestly have a unique perspective on it. Okay. With that destination in mind, let us make haste. distorted realm, teeming with shadows, the physical embodiment of the desires of the human heart, the same thing which brought forth the beauty of the Sayori, can also create such morbid fabrications that I actually might, but I actually find that aspect to be quite fascinating. The heart is akin to an abyss. Now, regardless, regarding the source of my slump, I actually have an idea. In that other dimension, I saw the perver... I, I just saw the perversion of Madarame's heart. At that moment, the art realm I had so much faith in was distorted by greed and unchecked desires. That is when the true ugliness of the world became clear to me. From that point forward, my brush has been stayed by crippling hesitation. <sighs> Does pure beauty truly exist? And if so, can hands tainted by Madarame's depravity capture it? Considering such intense questions only serves to distance me from reality. Doubt filled my mind. I struggled to find a reason to move my brush again. And honestly, I still have yet to discover a suitable answer. What is the matter? Have you been overcome by an urge to paint? Give me your brush. Please do not rush me. I only need a little more time. Hmm. The lingering uncertainty present in this place seems to be sharpening my senses. I feel a revelation approaching. <laughs> yes. Inspiration has struck! <laughs> that must be it. <laughs> Such brilliant composition. Ah, my heart races! 
Ah, how inelegant. You wish to carry out your distorted will, foolish shadow? Let's go. I shall cut you down for interrupting my work. I've become too passionate. I'm glad you were here. You have my thanks. You're like Theo. What the huh? No, I'm my own person. I am aware. I was referring to Van Gogh's brother, Theo. Van Gogh did not achieve fame in his lifetime, but found an admirer and supporter in his brother. many who are willing to deal with my eccentricity. By the way, what's in your hand? A card? Blank card the shadow dropped. Hmm. Whenever I see blank paper, I have the urge to draw something on it. May I? Impossible. Uh, what? A satisfactory result. Well, what do you think? Not bad, wouldn't you say? Soon enough, my slump will be a thing of... My picture turned into a real skill card? That's an amazing power. Indeed. Would you mind helping me further? If I can overcome this slump, I should be able to aid our group like earlier. Uh, perhaps even more so. I know. Why don't we act as the thieves we are and strike a deal? It's a deal. Great. I promise your returns will be well worth your cooperation. Multiple cards were discovered among your belongings, replicas of the same design. I don't have a clue how these cards were used, but someone proficient in the arts was close to you. What were you having this person do? enough for today. I've completed a rough sketch. I'll finish this back at the dorm. I'll contact you once it's done. I'm in your debt. Thank you for all your assistance today. You helped me discover some truly wonderful inspiration. I must say, I never expected my art skills would ever prove useful for the Phantom Thieves. I have to hold up my end of the deal, so I'll perform to the best of my ability. You need only ask. I'll be asking a lot. It's my turn. Indeed. Then you can count on me. My brush is yours to command. Now we can. We should be heading back. I have. To to apply the finishing touches as soon as possible. Huh. For the first time in a long while, my brush will dance again. See you. Journalist responded to me. 
The Crossroads Bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? Looks like this Crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. That's a spirit. Try not to freak out just because Shinjuku's the nightlife district, okay? You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. Shinjuku at night, eh? That sounds rather dangerous. Where shall we meet up? Stand by on. I'll be easier to move around with less of us. It'll be easier. There you go. My apologies. I don't have the money to take the train there. Then you're on standby too. Me and Retro will go, okay? Got it. If Reginald's going, I guess there's no need to worry. We'll leave it to you then. Well, I guess that's that. Only up in Sh Shibuya. Be careful, you two. I shall be... I shall be sure to save money for situations like this from now on. Wait, are you gonna go in your school uniform? It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go. You're in your uniform? Huh? No choice. I didn't have the time to go home. People aren't gonna notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. Looking good. That's not the issue! Are you <laughs> both idiots? I'm just saying now. I won't be to blame when you get caught by the cop. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. I'll guide you. If we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time. Is this really going to be okay? Do something about it. Huh? You sure? Even at night, this place is bright as hell. Hey! Whoa! All right! Hey! <sighs> you have a moment? Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. I'm a college student. Oh, yeah. We're adults, you see? Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Maybe on the news. Oh, yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Is that a school uniform? Shit. Now, you kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. Shoot. This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea. Let's run! How much longer until we get there? Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. I excuse me. For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles. Or perhaps it's something else. In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please, let me examine your future further. What? Me? Yes, I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. Uh, more of this shit? Sorry, but we're in a hurry. And I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. I see. My apologies. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. May your fortunes be well. Okay. We ain't old enough to hang out here. You sure this is the place? Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. Uh, we got caught last time, too. Just wait outside. 
I came all the way to Shinjuku and can't even go in? Ugh, fine. I'll kill time somewhere nearby. Just let me know when you're done. Welcome, welcome. How old are you, boy? Sorry, Lala-chan. He's with me. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? Lala-chan, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there. I'll treat you to some water. Ah, oh, she reeks of booze. <laughs> what a surprise! I thought you were joking, yet here you are! I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? You control Shibuya. Oh, why that? I need intel on their boss. Hmm, well I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these Phantom Thieves? Are those your terms? <laughs> Something like that. You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the Phantom Thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. Seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so... What do you say? Hmm... A student who suffered from abuse. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. I accept your offer. It's a deal then! Send me your friend's contact info later. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Shut up. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. Lala-chan, can I get a refill for this kid? We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. It'll be a problem if you stay too long. You should leave right after you finish your water. Yes! How'd it go? Real. Real? Awesome. Anyways, we should meet up ASAP. I'll be in front of the movie theater, so head on over. It's that kind of open area you pass on your way to the park. Hey! I'm tired of waiting. You getting any dirt on your target? On our target? For real? Junior, calm your shiro. Hey! Not so loud. Junior, calm your shiro. Alright! There we go! Okay, now we just gotta get some info on the distortion. Once we know that, it's palace time! Wait! Let's try tomorrow. It'll be better when we have the whole team together. Alright, I'll tell everyone to meet up in Shibuya. Dude! It's totally crazy though. It's a huge catch! I'm pumped! Ooh, you're right. We really would be a natural. But a graphic tee would... Bad pants? Ugh, kill me now. <laughs> Whoa, who the hell are they? Oh, hell has nothing to do with it, honey. I'm Angel, straight out of heaven. And I'm Julian. Julie, if you're feeling saucy. 
What a cutie. You'd never guess he was into the drag scene. Say we show him the ropes. You know, you can't deny it. We saw you peeking into crossroads. Well, sweetie, if you're curious, we'll help you look divine. Whoa! Wait, hey, it's not like that. Dude, help! Tell me, tell him we were just investigating or something. Knock him dead, bully. Huh? You just gotta leave me here like this? Come on, your best friend's in trouble here. Oh, honey, you've got the jut, you got the chutzpah. And those cheekbones, I love it. That's what it takes to be a star. You follow my lead, stud? We're gonna put your name in lights and I know just the dress for you. Um... Uh, hopefully Ryuji finds his calling. Or at least makes it out alive. Wanna head back? Hey, there's something else for us. There's nothing else for us tonight. Let's hope for the let's head home. Did you get any clues? Have a name. You did it. Well then, let's meet up here at the hideout tomorrow. Understood. Ryuji seems to be absent from the con this conversation. Should we contact him separately? I'm sure he'll figure it out when he checks his phone so, later. We're pretty much already in Kanashiro's palace. That was surprisingly easy. Some girl just messaged me saying you told her about me? She said she's interested in me? What's this about? And what kind of girl is Oya-san? Is she cute or is she hot? I mean, oh, you'll see. Don't tease me. I'm gonna lose sleep over this. Oya-san. Oh, she said she wanted to talk. How much more forward can a girl get? Is this really what I think it is? Could it be? You'll find out. Man, I was so looking forward to this. I am so looking forward to this. This is all thanks to you. I feel like starting the fan site has really changed me. Anyway, I can handle this. You introduced me, so I'll make sure I don't embarrass you. And I'll totally let you know if we end up hooking up. Cool. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for the night. I should write something. Yeah, you should write something. Yeah, I think you're right, Reggie. Alright.